Chapter 3840, One Seven Color Supreme Blood, The Heavenly Boundary Line, was a condensation of the laws of the Three Thousand Worlds. It represented an absolute dignity, an existence that could not be challenged or blasphemed. It split the Three Thousand Worlds in two. Ever since it was born, no one dared to touch it. Otherwise, they would be provoking the laws of the world and be eradicated by those laws. However, Long Aeoshin walked right up to the heavenly boundary line and slammed his palm on it. The moment his palm struck it, the heavenly boundary line quivered and rainbow light flowed out. The heavenly boundary line actually didn't reject him. Instead, a rainbow gateway actually appeared in it. This rainbow gate flowed like water. In front of everyone's stunned gazes, Long Aeoshin's figure slowly passed through the gate. He went through the heavenly boundary line just like that. Yin Changsheng, the nine underworld Liuacha, and Jai Wuming were too stunned to move. Long Aeoshin was actually capable of ignoring the laws of the three thousand worlds. What kind of heaven-defying ability was this? No matter how strong a person was, how could they actually seize the heavenly Daos and suppress the very laws of the world? Even people as strong as them were shocked. They had never heard of anyone possessing such an ability. Mo Nian, Yu Ziaokian, Zia Chen, and Guo Ran came charging down this passageway as well. Originally, Yu Ziaokian had managed to force Xi Yang to the brink of death, but at this moment, she couldn't bother with him. They all charged down. When they saw Long Aeoshin and confirmed that they hadn't seen it wrongly, they were even more shocked. Long Aeoshin was no longer the old Long Aeoshin of the Martial Heaven Continent. He was now so powerful that he had surpassed all their expectations. After crossing the heavenly boundary line, the rainbow gate behind him slowly faded. Looking at everyone's shocked expressions, he smiled. He seemed to greatly enjoy this sight. Long Chen, do you see? This is the power of your seven-color supreme blood. It possesses the innate ability to subdue the ten thousand Daos, so the laws of a minor world like the three thousand worlds cannot stop me. It's such a shame that you were the original owner of this seven-color supreme blood, but it shows off its heaven-shaking might in my hands. I suppose the greatest tragedy is that you, the original master of this seven-color supreme blood, will now die to it. He he, isn't that very ironic? Perhaps this is fate. Long Aeoshin smiled, feeling very pleased with himself. He looked down on Long Chen like an emperor from high above. It was only once he passed through the heavenly boundary line that people could sense his true aura. He seemed to possess a transcendent energy, one that made people feel the urge to prostrate themselves toward him. This aura was noble and domineering, an aura that could subdue the four seas and cause the nine heavens to kowtow. It could not be resisted. It was as if the ten thousand Daos could only crawl beneath his feet. What shocked Yin Changsheng, the nine underworld Liuacha, Jai Wuming, and the others the most was that this terrifying Long Aeoshin's seven-color supreme blood was actually taken from Long Chen. They had heard Long Aeoshin say that he had taken three things from Long Chen before. Now, they knew that one of them was this seven-color supreme blood. Then the other two, tell me, where is my father? Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. He had only let Long Aeoshin off back then to learn the whereabouts of his father and mother. Although he did not know where his mother was, based on Liu Ozichuan's character, his mother should not be in danger. However, his father's whereabouts were still a mystery. When Long Chen looked for the Long family, they had pulled up their whole family and left without leaving a clue. So, now that he was seeing Long Aeoshin again, he had to learn of his father's whereabouts. Your father? Don't worry, your father is still alive. He's doing very well. After all, with me present, who would dare to touch him? 
he he his son caused the death of my parents so how could i not let him live ah long ayashin might be laughing but he was clenching his teeth angrily his enmity with long chen was no longer as simple as stealing his blood bone and root long ayashin had caused long chen's family to be separated as for long chen he had killed long ayashin's parents as a way of getting some interest on his debt to him long chen hated long ayashin and long ayashin hated long chen both of their hatreds had reached the point of being deeply imprinted in their souls although long ayashin hadn't died and had even profited from his defeat last time he was still tortured by long chen he might now have the favor of the immemorial long clan but before that after long chen fed him his black soil pill he was in such immense pain that he thought of ending himself many times in the immortal world he was unable to endure this pain and wanted to kill himself that torture was unbearable later on an expert from the long family forcibly sealed his cultivation base making him unable to even kill himself however they were unable to seal the pain so he was tortured with every second it was precisely this terrifying pain that had stimulated the self-protective will of his spirit blood spirit root and spirit bone no matter how much pain he was in he wouldn't die he ultimately retained a trace of his life during that time it was truly a case of living a life worse than death originally the long family had decided to abandon him because they had no way to save him it was only later that they noticed that long ayashin's spirit blood spirit root and spirit bone were incomparably powerful no matter how the poison raged it was unable to take his life as a result they requested aid from the experts in the clan and someone crossed heavens just to check on him after finding that long ea should possess the potential to become a triple supreme this expert immediately sent him to the long clan's ancestral land willing to pay any price they even disturbed the ancestral patriarchs with the patriarchs personally taking action the poison in his body was dispelled they spent a huge amount of resources and effort to cleanse long ayashin's spirit blood spirit root and spirit bone from that moment on long ayashin soared standing far above all other heavenly geniuses he became the immemorial long clan's strongest genius of this generation furthermore his potential was viewed highly amongst all the patriarchs they had great expectations of him the current long ayashin could be said to want for nothing within the immemorial long clan if he wanted wind there was wind if he wanted rain there was rain there was no one who could match him however there was still a single knot in his heart that was long chen the person he hated to the bone now that the two were meeting once more both of them became like bloodthirsty beasts glaring at each other with scarlet eyes when long ayashin said that long jianchen was in his hands long chen's head buzzed his fury exploded if long jianchen was in his hands it was unimaginable just how much he was being tortured thinking of this long chen's fury was out of control i could make you live a life worse than death once so i can do it a second time long chen's roar was like thunder after that killing intent shook the void and the ten thousand daos howled when his divine ring spun his seven stars quivered he didn't hold back the slightest bit of power as he smashed a fist at long ayashin keep dreaming i am no longer the old long ayashin starting today only i will reign supreme within the nine heavens and ten lands everyone else is merely stepping stones on my path to the peak as for you long chen you will be my first step divine blood infects heavenly desolation long ayashin's manifestation burst into existence it was a multicolored desolate world as soon as this world appeared a supreme aura unfurled causing everyone's expressions to change 
Today I'll show you what a true supreme is, what true power is. Long Ayashin didn't dodge in front of Long Chen's attack. He unleashed his own fist. These two destined mortal enemies once more clashed in the immortal world. Chapter 3842 Seven Planet World Suppression The moment the two of them clashed, their auras exploded violently. Even before truly exchanging blows, space already rumbled and exploded. The Golden Lake began to ripple and unleash huge waves. Boom! Both of them unleashed a fist, and the collision shook this entire world. Even the heavenly boundary line quivered. After that, a Kai wave exploded, blowing both of them back. This direct clash lacked any technique or skill. It was a pure clash of physical strength. However, when their auras exploded, a tyrannical pressure crashed down on everyone, suffocating them. With Long Chen and Long Ayashin fighting, Yin Cheng Cheng, the Nine Underworld Liuacha, and Jai Wuming stopped. They hadn't expected such an expert to suddenly appear. This was a perfect chance for them to test out just how strong Long Chen was. Without your seven color supreme blood, you could only use other essence blood to replace it. But even if you have true dragon essence blood, so what? You can only be suppressed. Long Ayashin unleashed another punch. This time, the multicolored world in his manifestation became active, as if it was a magnificent painting scroll whose colors were now moving. The world became vivid and lifelike. At this moment, his fist was covered in a layer of divine light. When it fell, the world shook and a giant mass of spatial cracks appeared. The power of this fist was ten times greater than his first. Since I dared to release you back then, it was because I was sure I could beat you again. In front of me, you can only ever be beaten. Long Chen's stars quivered. When his come violet Kai erupted, they ignited into violet flames. This was Long Chen's first time unleashing his violet Kai without restraint. After getting accustomed to his new power, his body was entirely capable of bearing the pressure of his violet Kai. Violet Kai gushed out of the 108,000 stars behind him, which instantly blazed with light, becoming like suns unleashing endless power. That power flowed through Long Chen's body like rivers. Ooh. The two of them once more clashed. This time, the void exploded and wild power unfurled. Cracks appear on the ceiling above their heads. Whether it was this side of the heavenly boundary line or the other, giant cracks appeared. It appeared as if this world would collapse at any moment. The two of them fell back once more after clashing fists. Once they did, their auras erupted like volcanoes that had been sealed for millions and millions of years. Long Chen, I'll show you my manifestation. You'll then know the difference between us. Divine blood infects heavenly desolation is just the first form. I'll now show you the second form, seven planet world suppression. Long Ayashin raised his arms toward the heavens and roared. His long hair whipped around him. As his manifestation rumbled and boomed, waves of violent Kai came spurting out. At this moment, two new colors appeared in his multicolored manifestation world. They were black and white. When they appeared, it was like a sun and a moon had appeared. The sun was bright and the moon was dark, one yang and one ying. With this addition of black and white, long Ayashin's aura soared crazily, unleashing Kai waves that scoured this world. Moan Nyan and the others were stunned. The current Long Ayashin was absolutely terrifying. He was like an unrivaled celestial god, with an aura that shook their souls. Seven Star Battle Armor Violet Kai swirled around Long Chen's body like millions of flying dragons. His aura had also reached a critical point. All his violet Kai surged toward his Feng Fu star. The Feng Fu star, Alioth star, Life Fate star, Enlightenment palace, Divine Gate star, Nether Gate star, and Violet Tower star lit up one by one. 
Every time one of them lit up, his aura rose to a new level. Last time, in his fight with Xi Yang, although Long Chen had summoned the Seven Star Battle Armor, it was not the complete version. That time, although all seven stars were lit up, it was still one step away from the complete Seven Star Battle Armor. One reason was because Long Chen hadn't needed to take that step in order to defeat Xi Yang. The other reason was because he wasn't fully confident that he could endure the impact of that final step. However, now Long Chen had to cross that final step because the current Long Aoshin had already pressed him to the point of needing to do so. He was truly the most frightening opponent Long Chen had ever met. Long Chen's aura erupted explosively. When the seventh violet tower star lit up, the violet kai around him ignited. Violet flames then raged around him, igniting the very laws of the heavenly Daos. However, what shocked Guo Ran, Xia Chen, and the others was that while both their auras rage, Long Aoshin's manifestation almost filled this entire world, suppressing Long Chen's manifestation. It was unable to break free from Long Aoshin's restrictions. It was like there was a giant tree blocking all the sunlight from reaching him. As a result, Long Chen's manifestation appeared much weaker in front of Long Aoshin's manifestation. But Guo Ran's expression changed. If Long Chen's manifestation was suppressed, then there was no way he could be a match for Long Aoshin. Long Aoshin was too powerful. Long Chen, it seems that I overestimated you. Under the suppression of my manifestation, the current you cannot even receive a single blow from me. Long Aoshin looked at Long Chen derisively. His manifestation quivered, unleashing endless divine light around him. Long Aoshin was in no rush to attack. He seemed to have immense confidence, so he arrogantly looked down on Long Chen. With his hatred of Long Chen, killing Long Chen just like this was letting him off too easily. He wanted Long Chen to die tortured and aggrieved. He wanted to return the pain he had suffered because of him a thousandfold. It seems that I also overestimated you. You are just a pig who remembers feedings but not beatings. Even after being tortured by my medicinal pill for so long, you still haven't learned your lesson. Your arrogance is all fate. It is nothing more than an attempt to cover up your own sense of inferiority. Everything that you depend on does not come from you. It all stems from other people's shameless means. When all that outside power is stripped from you, what do you have left? I'll answer for you when you lose those things. All you have left is nothing. Long Chen's manifestation was quivering and his seven stars were constantly vibrating. Although it was suppressed and forced into a smaller space, Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit panicked. These words pierced deep into Long Aoshin's heart. Just as Long Chen said, nothing he had was obtained by his own efforts. His pride, his arrogance, they were all to cover up the fear and self-inferiority in his heart. Even though he was so powerful now, he still had nightmares. He would see everything that he had stolen away. He also saw himself become nothing more than an ordinary person. That feeling of living a life worse than death kept returning. He knew that Long Chen had become his major heart devil. If he wished to continue cultivating, he had to kill Long Chen. Otherwise, sooner or later, he would be consumed by his heart devil. After being exposed by Long Chen, he roared furiously, a bunch of nonsense. I'll slaughter you right now. Long Aoshin flipped in the air and stamped down, diving down like a goshawk. Multicolored runes then flowed on top of his hands like sharp claws piercing toward Long Chen. Just then, the violet tower star's divine light illuminated the Feng Fu star. At this moment, the seven stars were fully connected. This was the complete seven-star battle armor. Boom! With a heaven-shaking explosion, astral light erupted around Long Chen, and he unleashed a punch straight at Long Aoshin. 
Chapter 3843 Power Shakes the World The Seven Bright Stars Behind Long Chen formed a starry ring, and their power flowed in an endless loop. Not a trace of their power leaked. Last time, when he summoned the Seven Star Battle Armor, he still didn't dare to connect them in a perfect loop. That was because if he didn't unleash some of his energy into the air, he might blow himself up with his power. However, after getting used to his new power over a longer period, he gained more experience using his stronger meridians and could now fully control the power of the Seven Star Battle Armor. The moment the power of his Seven Stars began to flow, energy exploded out of his body. This fist's power could tear through the dome of the heavens. Boom! With a heaven-shaking collision, giant cracks appeared within heaven and earth. It was as if this entire world would shatter. After that, wild kai waves formed a domain of death that rapidly spread. The golden lake beneath everyone's feet was directly blasted into golden mist. As a result, Yin Cheng Sheng, Jai Wuming, and the others immediately unleashed their full power just to brace themselves. Even then, they were blown back by this impact. On the other hand, Xia Chen was prepared. With his talisman, he brought Yu Xiaokian, Mo Nian, and Guo ran away ahead of time. So, by the time they were buffeted by those astral winds, they had weakened a great deal. Even then, Xia Chen felt like the astral winds were like blades on his face. It felt like his flesh was being sliced off of his body. Look! Suddenly, Guo Ran pointed to the bottom of the Golden Lake. The lake had been blown away by Long Chen and Long Aoshin's exchange, revealing the bottom. There were thirty-six coffins located at the bottom of the lake. The moment they were revealed, a wild, desolate Kai assaulted them. That aura made Guo Ran and the others' hair stand on end. An indescribable sense of terror then filled all of them. It felt like something had set its sights on them. Not good. We've been involved in some terrifying karma. Mo Nian was bewildered as he looked at the coffins. As a professional grave robber, he was familiar with all kinds of tombs and had plundered many of them. Naturally, that resulted in him getting involved with many inauspicious things. This was what it meant to see more ghosts at night. Before entering this heavenly tomb, Mo Nian had set up a barrier. This was a secret technique of the Limitless Palace to shield from invisible energies like karma and curses. However, when these coffins appeared, Mo Nian was shocked to find that the barrier he had set up was instantly destroyed. It didn't have the slightest effect. The appearance of these coffins made everyone's heart shake. As experts, they could tell that they had just been infected by some karma. This feeling was like a terrifying monster had set its sights on them. It also felt like they would never escape from that gaze for the rest of their lives. Yin Cheng Sheng, the Nine Underworld Yuacha, and Jai Wuming's expressions changed. Once involved in this kind of karma, there was no escape. Those coffins had ancient tatamic carves on them. There were tree monsters, strange flowers, as well as beasts that they had never seen before. Ah! Suddenly, hundreds of the devil races and sacred pill halls experts screamed at the same time. They covered their eyes with their hands, and fresh blood poured out from between their fingers. At the same time as that blood flowed, putrefied flesh could be seen in it as well. Don't look at those coffins. Don't look into the eyes of those beast carvings. If your life isn't strong enough, this karma will instantly kill you, shouted Yin Chang Sheng, stopping the sacred pill hall's experts from looking at them. Although he didn't know the origin of these coffins, this terrifying karma had infected them. Even he felt chills and his soul quivered. This place had something untouchable buried within it. Beneath that mysterious cauldron was the Golden Lake, and below the Golden Lake were these coffins. Anyone could tell that those coffins were the true heart of the heavenly tomb. Suddenly, two loud roars shook this world, 
and wild chi waves battered every one. Those chi waves buffeted the world with no pause. Only then did people pull their attention from the coffins to Medair, where Long Chen and Long Ayashin's fists were still locked in combat. They were unleashing all their power to suppress the other. Everyone could see cracks where their fists met, and those cracks continuously grew. Grand Dao runes collapsed, fragments of space-time flew. Under their violent power, this entire world was wailing, as if it would explode at any moment. The upper floor above them had been turned into dust at some point. The entire heavenly tomb was shaking, and the corpses on the walls fell. This place was in chaos. The experts present were terrified. They had never witnessed such a terrifying sight before. The two of them seemed intent on destroying this entire world with them. Long Chen and Long Ayashin glared at each other, both of them exploding with killing intent. They didn't care about everything around them. They only had one thought, to defeat the other in the most direct, most brutal way. As their powers raged, their chi waves struck the heavenly boundary line. It was actually affected by their power and began to rumble. However, the curious thing was that even as the heavenly boundary line was shaken, the bronze cauldron at the center wasn't shaken in the slightest. It seemed that it wasn't affected by the heavenly boundary line at all. The entire heavenly tomb was wailing. The others didn't dare to make any rash movements. Even Mo Nyan, who lusted for those coffins, was only appraising them silently, waiting to gain more information before making a move. Although those coffins were utterly terrifying, since they were already involved with their karma, there was nothing more to fear. He very much wanted to know what terrifying existences were buried within those coffins. However, he still couldn't make a move yet. If he did, Jai Wuming, Yin Chang Cheng, the nine underworld Yuacha, Shi Yang, and the others would also react. There were too many of them. Any rash moves would be disadvantageous, so Mo Nian was waiting for a more suitable opportunity. For now, he just watched Long Chen and Long Ayashin's fight. Boom! Long Chen and Long Ayashin were blown back at the same time. After that, the spatial cracks vanished and the ear-piercing sounds also subsided. The entire world fell silent. Good. As expected of you, Long Chen. You haven't disappointed me. I still have many trump cards I haven't gotten to use yet. If you were to lose already, it would be boring. Long Ayashin stood in the air. His manifestation thrummed according to a mysterious rhythm. At this moment, he was looking at Long Chen like a beast looking at his prey. Long Ayashin didn't reveal much shock at Long Chen's power. Instead, he seemed excited. Even against the full power Long Chen, he was confident. It doesn't matter how many trump cards you have. You will never be able to escape your fate of being beaten. The moment you stole my spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone, your fate was set. Long Chen was also burning with battle intent. It was as if he lived for battle. Only in battle could he understand himself. Only in battle could he see himself clearly. Ah, 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 you are still so conceited. Let me see how long you can keep up with that conceit. The next moment, Long Ayashin spread his arms, and the world within his manifestation suddenly changed color. When golden light erupted out of the world behind him, he shot at Long Chen. Sharp metal Kai. He can control metal energy. Xia Chen cried out in shock. That golden light was like sharp golden swords. Most frightening of all, as these golden swords came flying out of his manifestation, the ground of the heavenly tomb turned golden as well. Those golden swords instantly sucked away this world's metal energy. At this moment, Yin Cheng Shen, the nine underworld Liuacha, and the others' expressions all changed. Chapter 3844 Terrifying Seven Color Supreme Blood Golden Swords filled the air, and they instantly extracted this world's metal energy. As they tore through the world, 
Their divine light was so harsh that people didn't dare to look at them directly. When Long Yashin's sharp metal kai merged with the metal energy of the world, millions of golden swords formed a golden flood crashing down on Long Chen. Boom! At this moment, astral light lit up on Long Chen's fist. He directly punched that torrent of golden swords, resulting in golden light filling the world. Countless golden swords were shattered. However, Long Chen smashed into the wall behind him viciously due to the impact of the golden torrent. After being blown apart, the golden torrent once more merged and crashed down on Long Chen like a golden dragon. These golden swords were incredibly sharp. Although Long Chen managed to shatter many of them with one attack, there were too many of them. Many of them passed by his body, leaving many cuts on him. In just an instant, blood dyed his robes. Long Chen was covered in dragon scales, but he was unable to resist those sharp swords. Although his body had reached a monstrous level of power, he was still injured. From this, it could be seen just how sharp those golden swords were. They were not inferior to world domain divine items. Although he was injured, they were no more than superficial wounds. These swords were unable to pose a fatal threat to him. Seeing them coming back at him, Long Chen roared and actually took the initiative to dive into this golden torrent. Astral light exploded out of his fists. With his bare hand, he struck this golden torrent. Long Chen dove into the flood in order to prevent it from accumulating more momentum. His fists danced along with golden light, and the shattered golden runes dyed the world in a new hue. Those shattered runes didn't disappear. Instead, they were formed, becoming sharp swords that once more attacked Long Chen in an endless torrent. Even then, those golden swords were unable to stop Long Chen. He actually pushed through this golden torrent toward Long Yashin. Long Yashin smiled sinisterly. Battle intent rose in his eyes. Long Chen, you must endure. I hope to be able to show you the full power of your seven-color supreme blood before your death. Suddenly, Long Yashin's hand seals changed and his manifestation once more changed color. It went from golden to fire red. Following that, Flame runes flew out of his manifestation. Flame energy. Everyone was shocked. Other than metal energy, Long Yashin also controlled flame energy. When this flame energy appeared, the world's flame energy was sucked dry just like its metal energy. A torrent of flames then ignited the world as it charged at Long Chen. The sharp metal current now had raging flames mixed within it. Seeing this, Long Chen only snorted, and astral winds blew out of his fists. Both these currents were blown apart. Again, shouted Long Aoshin. The next moment, the earth crumbled, and a giant earth pillar soared into the sky toward Long Chen. Boom! Long Chen smashed his fist down. The earth pillar crumbled, but Long Chen was blown into the sky by a terrifying force. Earth energy people were shocked even further. Long Aoshin also possessed earth energy. Could it be? After that, the earth collapsed and vines came flying out like pythons. Long Chen was still in the midst of flying back from the earth pillar, but the vines already weaved into a net around Long Chen, instantly binding him and tightening. Wake! A thunderous roar rang out. After that, those vines exploded, scattering in pieces. But then, those broken pieces actually took root in the air and once more grew, transforming into even more giant vines that coiled around Long Chen. Wood energy! Suddenly, the air shook and a rain of light descended from the heavens. That rain was like arrows piercing toward Long Chen. How can this be? How can a person use all five elements at once? People cried out in shock. This didn't make sense. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, all five forms of energy weaved through the world. They all attacked Long Chen, but not one of them repels the others. 
every form of energy was fatal facing them long chen's fists continued to dance and his violet kai continued to erupt he fiercely counterattacked against the five elemental forces long chen do you see this is the power of your seven color supreme blood this all should have been yours unfortunately you didn't have that fate who cares about a double supreme or even a triple supreme i have not even cultivated my supreme blood to its pinnacle and i already possess the power to destroy heaven and earth once my supreme bone and supreme root fully awaken all three will merge into one who will possibly be a match for me in this world unfortunately you won't live to see me merge all three and be unrivaled but that's fine i will fully display my supreme blood's power to you i will show you just how heaven defying the three things i stole from your body are to be killed by your own supreme blood isn't it very ironic ah long ayashin raised his head and laughed what is mine will naturally be taken back by myself leaving them with you is nothing more than having you look after them i have to thank you for spending so much time and energy on helping me raise them long chen continued to fight through the five elemental currents although he was covered in blood his expression was not at all panicked he was still as calm as water your mouth is pretty glib let me see just how long you can be so tough the power of seven color supreme blood doesn't stop here i'll let you understand as you die long Liashin's hand seals changed once more suddenly the five currents quivered and they formed giant runes at first they were indistinct but then they merged together to form a giant sphere of light that trapped long chen inside the five runes flowed around forming five totemic symbols looking more closely those totems seemed to be the legendary azure dragon white tiger vermilion bird black tortoise and killen when those five totems appeared the sphere of light quivered and five roars rang out those voices seemed to come from ancient times and were filled with murderous killing intent they made people's ears hurt and shook their souls because of them some of the weaker experts of the devil race and sacred p ill hall passed out blood pouring out of their ears even if every person here was a supreme in front of this mental pressure a portion of them were unable to endure it as for long chen he was inside the sphere of light the pressure that he was under was a million times greater however his expression was still calm he just looked at those five totems rest in peace five spirit bind a spear of light suddenly appeared on long ayashin's hand as well it was only an inch wide but shaped the exact same as the one trapping long chen he then clenched his hand the light around long chen compressed on him and long chen felt space twist violently long ayashin was trying to directly crush him long chen snorted you are still as foolish as ever after saying that he pointed a single finger a single flame directly touched the vermilion bird totem chapter three thousand eight hundred forty five long chen's new technique the light spear contracted and heaven and earth quivered this power made people's hearts clench it was an attack with apocalyptic power yuo ran and the others instantly tensed they knew that this move had to be one of long ayashin's killer blows however unexpectedly just as his sphere of light contracted long chen simply pointed at the vermilion bird totem endless flames gushed out of the vermilion bird totem the five energies inside the sphere were originally perfectly balanced but with long chen's injection of energy the sphere instantly lost any semblance of balance Ooh endless rooms flew about that terrifying sphere of light was broken with a single finger from long chen all the experts present were shocked such a terrifying technique had been broken with a wave of long chen's hand seeing mon nian and the others uncomprehending expressions yuzayokian explained 
the five elemental energies restrain and support each other the reason long ayashin can use all five elemental energies at once is because he is using the tao of the five elements as for long chen he possesses flame energy and just by inserting the slightest bit of it into the vermilion bird totem the vermilion bird totem's energy overwhelmed the azure dragon's wood energy with the balance of the five elements broken this technique naturally crumbled on itself only then did mo nyan and the others understand so it was such a simple trick but without yuzaiokin's explanation they wouldn't be able to imagine how long chen could destroy such a killer move with a point of his finger long eoshin didn't seem surprised that his technique was broken it was as if it was all within his expectations he then waved his hand and the five totems flew toward him branding themselves on his forehead hands and feet the killin was on his forehead the vermilion bird on his left hand the white tiger on his right hand the azure dragon on his left foot and the black tortoise on his right foot the power of the five elemental totems was directly merged with his body when that happened heaven and earth quivered as if he had become the master of the world an undefeatable existence that controlled all laws his aura completely changed becoming even more domineering and even more oppressive long chen do you think that i don't know you have flame energy do you think breaking my five spirit bind is something to be proud of you're too naive long chen i won't let you die so easily i'll show you just how terrifying your seven color supreme blood is i'll make you die feeling endless unwillingness and helplessness i will return all the pain that you gave me multiplied by a thousand long ayashin smiled sinisterly his gaze sharp on the martial heaven continent you said that your physical body was the strongest today i'll defeat you in your strongest area what i have was originally yours but you can only watch as everything is taken from you you are powerless to resist you can only die suffering long ayashin suddenly unleashed a simple punch the next moment a golden fist image crashed down like a giant mountain this punch came out without any hand seals and without accumulating any energy however all the metal energy of the world still followed the punch long ayashin was able to unleash such a powerful attack without any preparation when the mountain-like golden fist crashed down long chen's heart shook the pressure behind this fist made it impossible for him to breathe however this fist didn't strike long chen instead it flew by him smashing into the ground below this fist directly struck the thirty-six coffins the terrifying power caused the ground to crumble and the earth to turn into nothingness even so this terrifying fist was unable to damage those coffins after losing the support of the ground they simply floated in the air this unstoppable fist that destroyed heaven and earth was unable to damage those coffins at the same time as people were stunned by long eoshin's power they were all amazed by the durability of those coffins the coffins simply floated in the air now people could vaguely see some translucent chains binding them to the cauldron in the heavenly boundary line long chen you know that i missed this attack on purpose i don't want you to accidentally die too early that would be boring long ayashin didn't look at those coffins nor did he look at the cauldron the only thing he was staring at was long chen his hated mortal enemy go ahead and attack i'd also want to see how powerful my seven color supreme blood is since i'm going to take it back anyway i should be mentally prepared responded long chen coldly long chen was also filled with hatred for long ayashin his battle intent continued to rise long ayashin's power was beyond imagination but the stronger long ayashin was the further he provoked the battle intent deep within long chen's soul long chen don't waste too much energy on him your goal is that bronze cauldron 
let me tell you that bronze cauldron is a priceless treasure you have to save energy to awaken it don't lose out on something this major the dragon expert's voice once more rang out in long chen's mind clearly this bronze cauldron's origins were immense and the dragon expert greatly wished for long chen to obtain it this person is my mortal enemy he also knows the whereabouts of my father hence i must defeat him and force him to spit out where my father is as for the rest i don't care long chen shook his head if he was facing anyone else he would definitely choose to first think about obtaining the cauldron rather than fighting but long Liashin was the exception the two were destined mortal enemies whenever they met there would be a battle to the death ah ha ha this arrogance is the same as back then sneered long Liashin. regretfully i am no longer the old long Liashin. i came to realize this long Liashin unleashed another punch this time a wild aura locked onto Long Chen, forcing him to receive it. Golden light flickered and flashed. After that, the runes flowing on top of Long Aoshin's fist increased in power. The entire heavenly tomb was quivering. On the other hand, seven stars lit up on Long Chen's fist, which was enveloped by a sacred light. This was a miniature form of the seven star battle armor. This was something that Long Chen had grasped from the nine star heirs in the heavenly tribulation. It was to transfer the power of the seven stars to just one area of the body, allowing the power of the seven stars to erupt only in one spot. Back then, Long Chen had almost been crippled by one of the nine star heirs with this technique. That was his first time seeing such a terrifying attack. But that attack also gave him enlightenment. Previously, his astral energy could only flow throughout his entire body, giving him full body protection as it was evenly spreading throughout the four limbs. But at the end of the day, that power was spread and incapable of concentrating into a single attack. But now that the mark of the seven stars appeared on his fist, all the astral energy in his body merged into a point in an instant. It was like a volcano was finally erupting, its power exploded. This time, when their fists met, golden light shattered and Long Aoshin grunted, his body swaying. Just as Long Aoshin was forced back, Long Chen raised his left hand and slapped him viciously in the face. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Long Aoshin was sent flying straight toward the bronze cauldron. Chapter 3000 846 superficial Long Aoshin was sent flying by a slap from Long Chen. But just as he was about to crash into the bronze cauldron, his hair stood on end. A terrifying sensation of death filled his heart. Long Aoshin was stunned by this feeling. Ever since the Long clan's patriarchs awakened his spirit blood, he had never felt such a terrifying threat. His intuition told him that if he struck this cauldron, he would without a doubt die. Before this, he had only been focused on Long Chen, so he hadn't been paying attention to this bronze cauldron. Only now did he realize that it was something extraordinary. Vines twisted in the air, forming a net in front of the cauldron, and Long Aoshin crashed into it. The net only quivered, and he bounced off. Flame energy vermilion bird dance being slapped by long chen long aoshin was enraged when the totem of the vermilion bird appeared on his fist flames rose the bird cry of the immemorial vermilion bird could vaguely be heard stretching to the present from eons ago that sound could pierce clouds and shatter rocks it directly penetrated people to their souls so what if you have the power of the five elements I only need one power to break it. No matter how strong the seven-color supreme blood is, it doesn't belong to you. Even if you do your utmost, how much can you control? Even though you stole my spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone, you were still defeated and will continue to be defeated by me. Seven stars flowed on top of Long Chen's fist. 
Long Chen felt carefree in a way that he had never felt before. After comprehending this technique, it no longer felt like he had endless energy to use. Instead, it felt like he was capable of concentrating all of that energy into one spot and detonating it. Long Chen didn't retreat in the slightest against Long Ayashin. It didn't matter whether it was metal energy or flame energy. He would defeat it all with a single fist. Flame runes danced, shooting out in every direction like a glorious firework. The light was dazzling, but it was accompanied by a terrifying heat that turned this world into a burning stove. On the other hand, the power of Long Chen's fist shook heaven and earth. This technique that he had learned from the Nine Star Heirs showed Long Chen that if he wanted to use the full power of the Nine Star Hegemon body art, he needed to use the accompanying battle skills. Previously, he was like a beggar sitting on top of a mountain of gold. He had immense power but no way to unleash it all. But now, all of his power came bursting out of his fist. That feeling of being able to destroy even heaven and earth set his blood ablaze. His battle intent was erupting. Long Aeotian's flame fist was blown apart. The clash of their fists was like two stars crashing together, and an aura of annihilation shook people's hearts. As astral winds raged, those coffins floating in the air were being affected by their power. They were beginning to shake. However, Everyone was paying attention to the fight, and no one took note of some indescribable aura slowly leaking from the cracks in the coffins. Water energy, black tortoise attack, wood energy, azure dragon stab, earth energy, kill an explosion. Long Aeotian's fists repeatedly struck, and the runes on his fists repeatedly changed. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. All five elemental energies appeared. Every power was a peak law that could destroy the heavens. However, no matter what energy he used, Long Chen faced him with a single fist. The full power of the seven star battle armor was in his fist. Whatever force he met, he destroyed with a single fist. At this moment, Long Chen realized that he had barely grasped the tiniest superficial hair of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art's body. Before this, he couldn't count as having grasped anything at all. This relaxing feeling of having all of his power be unleashed as he pleased gave him unprecedented satisfaction. As time passed, he grew more and more familiar with this new technique. The somewhat shaky feeling gradually passed. Now, his movements were efficient and graceful. Both of their fists and feet began to meet. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth energies raged, and every collision caused the world to shake. People felt like their insides were being compressed, as if a hand of the five elements was squeezing them, making them feel like they would vomit blood. Long Chen and Long Aeotian's fight caused a giant space to become a zone of death. Spatial cracks filled this region. Let alone people, even divine items would probably be crushed if they entered this region. People could only hide in the distance, pressing against the stone walls. They couldn't retreat any further, but the suffocating astral winds felt like blades across their faces. It had to be known that everyone here was a supreme heavenly genius. Within their individual factions, they were the top experts, capable of looking down on all others in the same realm. However, here, they were stunned to find that the battle between Long Chen and Long Aeotian was something that they couldn't get close to. If they tried to force their way through, they might be directly smashed apart by those astral winds before even getting close. Is the difference really so great? One of the sacred pill hall's supreme experts couldn't help muttering to himself as he watched their intense fight. They couldn't help looking toward Yin Cheng Sheng. They saw that he and the others were also staring at Long Chen and Long Aeotian in shock. Boss really is the boss. He has never disappointed us. He he, our worries were for nothing. Huo Ren had previously been nervous. 
Long Eoshin's power was truly terrifying. His power to control the five elements, with every single one of those elemental forces being at a level that could cause despair, caused Guo Ran to feel worried for Long Chen for the first time. However, now watching Long Chen clearly suppress Long Eoshin, Guo Ran was delighted. He wished for Long Chen to directly kill Long Eoshin with a punch. Have you not noticed that Long Eoshin's five element energy is starting to grow more fluid? It was rusty at first, but now the speed at which he moves through them has increased a great deal. The spatial pressure has also increased, said Xia Chen, still worried. Hearing this, Guo Ran noticed a huge mass of cracks around every single one of Long Eoshin's attacks. Their range was greater than before. You mean he's using Boss as a sparring partner to get used to his new power? Guo Ran exclaimed. Zaya Chen nodded, his brow furrowed. Long Eoshin was truly terrifying. Or perhaps it should be said that Long Chen's seven-color supreme blood was what was terrifying. Thinking of how this seven-color supreme blood should belong to Long Chen, Guo Ran and the others were incensed. If Long Chen hadn't had his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone taken just how lofty his position would he be in the immortal world? You don't need to worry. Although Long Eoshin is powerful, have you not noticed that Long Chen's energy is also flowing more fluidly now? It's not as stiff as at the beginning. Long Chen is in the midst of figuring out his new technique, and he's using Long Eoshin as a training partner as well. In truth, neither of them is going all out just yet. Mo Nian, do you agree? Yu Ziopian looked at Mo Nian. Cough most likely. Mo Nian coughed a bit. In truth, his attention wasn't on Long Chen and Long Eoshin. He understood Long Chen's power far too well. Mo Nian, what are you thinking? Seeing his distracted appearance, Guo Ran couldn't help asking. SHH. Mo Nian's gaze roved around before landing on those coffins. He secretly transmitted, whatever is inside those coffins is priceless. While everyone's attention is on Long Chen and Long Eoshin, we must grab the coffins. Xia Chen, I just thought of a method. Let's pry it. Mo Nian silently took out a small black case. This case was shockingly a palm-sized coffin. Chapter 3847,000 Illusion Spirit Coffin The moment this tiny coffin appeared, strange marks appeared on top of it. Those marks were exactly the same as those 36 coffins. Moreover, it wasn't just the marks. Even the color and texture began to change, and it quickly became a perfect copy of the outer form of those coffins. Even their auras were identical. Your Xia Chen was startled. He didn't know what Mo Nian wanted to do. This is another one of my treasures, like the flying shuttle. The Thousand Illusion Spirit Coffin can mimic the appearance and aura of any coffin. In the past, if I encountered some terrifying life form in a tomb, I would just hide inside this coffin, and they would never find me. We'll hide in this coffin, and Xia Chen... You use a mirror illusion art to replace our figures here. Leave behind some movement scenes to trick others. I trust that this isn't hard for you, right? He he, then we'll stealthily get close to those coffins. Based on my intuition, there is definitely something big inside, something that can let us become rich money bags overnight, said Mo Nian stealthily. But Boss is still fighting. Xia Chen was hesitant. For them, to secretly open the coffins while his boss was in a bloody battle made him feel uneasy. So what? Dust, who is your boss? He has even more trump cards than me. Furthermore, they are still in the warm-up phase. Long Chen doesn't have time to search for treasures, while Yin Chang Sheng, the Nine Underworld Luacha, Jai Wuming, and Xiang are all on guard against each other. They won't dare to make any moves rashly. Now is our best chance. Come, don't hesitate. If we miss this chance, we won't get another, 
urged Mo Nyan. Xia Chen still hesitated and looked at Yu Xiaopian, hoping for her to decide. Neither he nor Guo Ran wanted to make any rash moves. Yu Xiaopian looked at Long Chen and nodded. Right now, Long Chen and Long Aoshan are both treating this as a chance to get accustomed to their new power. While it looks intense, there is still some time until they truly reach the point of deciding victory or defeat. Since Mo Nian is so confident, let's try it. Long Chen is too obsessed right now to think of getting treasures. We'll have to do it for him. Hearing that, Xia Chen stealthily set up the formation. Long Chen and Long Aoshan were unleashing the tempest of attacks, and everyone was watching them. Thus, no one noticed their tiny movements. In truth, at first, Jai Wuming and the others had been paying some attention to Mo Nian and the others. They didn't want them to get a hand on the treasures first. However, as the intensity of Long Chen and Long Aoshan's battle rose as their attacks grew increasingly powerful and sharp, their attention was unconsciously drawn away. Long Chen was one of their most powerful enemies, and they didn't know much about his combat skills. Watching him fight would benefit them when they fought him in the future. Other than that, the main treasure that people cared about was the 36 coffins floating in the air. They were in the center, and if anyone got close to them, everyone would see it. Other than that, Yin Changsheng, the Nine Underworld Yuacha, and Shi Yang's attention wasn't on Mo Nian and the others. Instead, it was on Jai Wuming, who could control time and space. Only he had the ability to silently take the treasures without anyone being the wiser. However, even as they glared at him, Jai Wuming was very obedient and didn't make any moves. He just watched the fight. Very quickly, there was the slightest spatial change on Xia Chen's side. Their figures remained where they were, while their actual bodies stealthily entered a coffin. The figures of Xia Chen and the others that people were seeing were no more than a projection that Xia Chen had set up. It was a recording set to loop. If others didn't get close, they wouldn't notice anything. As for Mo Nian's coffin, it was about the same as his flying shuttle. People could hide within it, and it possessed its own concealing abilities. Even so, this thousand illusion spirit coffin didn't possess any flying abilities. It could only slowly float toward those coffins. Xia Chen and Gyu Ran were all tense, afraid of being noticed. However, they quickly found that their worries were for nothing. Mo Nian had spent all these years grave robbing. He was a master at it. The treasures that he had attained were things that most people would never even see in all their lifetime. Although the majority of those treasures were taken by his master, the immoral deist, he wouldn't touch his disciples' life-saving trump cards. After all, Mo Nian was his only disciple and also the heir to the Limitless Palace. No matter how immoral the immoral deist was, he wouldn't harm his own disciple. At this moment, the Thousand Illusion Spirit Coffin approached one of the coffins. Everyone's attention was still on Long Chen and Long Aoshan. No one looked at them. Mo Nian had them stop above the coffin. Following that, the Thousand Illusion Spirit Coffin slowly grew until it covered up this coffin. From the outside, it didn't look like anything odd. However, Mo Nian and the others now stood on top of one of the coffins. This coffin was ten meters long and five meters tall. Standing on it, Guo Ran felt like he might explode at any moment from the terror. It was as though he was standing on top of the head of some monster. As for Mo Nian, his eyes were shining. He was rubbing the marks on the coffin like he was rubbing the skin of a beautiful woman. That gentleness and single-mindedness was impressive. Yu Xiaokian also studied those marks closely. She suddenly said, These marks appear to be the veins of the red spider lily's leaves and the netherworld's aura comes from inside. So, this coffin most likely contains some life form of the netherworld. Mo Nian praised amazing, truly amazing. 
You even managed to find this out. Yes, these marks are the veins of the red spider lily's leaves. The red spider lily is also called the hell flower. When the flower blooms, the leaves vanish. When the leaves are born, the flower disappears. It is just like the cycle of life and death, an endless cycle. The flowers represent new life, while the leaves represent death. These veins contain a powerful aura of the netherworld, so a netherworld expert should indeed be inside. I'm going to open it. When I do, death kai might instantly pour out. Zaya Chen, help me purify it so it doesn't make a fuss. Mo Nian took out a brush, and it had blood like ink on it. He then began to draw strange marks on the coffin. He spent a full incense stick's worth of time drawing before putting away his brush. After that, he sprinkled some powder on the coffin and formed hand seals, muttering something. It was unknown what he was muttering. It seemed to be a scripture. After a while, the designs that he had just drawn onto the coffin slowly lit up, as if coming alive. Following that, the coffin quivered. With a light sound, the lid slowly opened. When the slightest crack appeared, a vast aura came erupting out. But when that aura appeared, Mo Nian and the others were dumbfounded. Quick! Mo Nian quickly cried out. What was coming out was not Death Kai, but pure primal chaos Kai. Chapter 3848 Three Eye Giant Xia Chen was dumbfounded. He had set up a formation to confine Death Kai, but what was coming out was Primal Chaos Kai. Fortunately, he reacted quickly and changed his hand seals. Hundreds of talismans then flew out, taking the place of the original ones he had set up. The gushing Primal Chaos Kai was firmly locked in. How could there be primal chaos Kai? exclaimed Xia Chen. Fortunately, he was fast enough, or if this much primal chaos Kai suddenly appeared, people would definitely notice. I don't know. Mo Nian wiped off some sweat. He had deduced that it should be a netherworld expert buried inside here. But somehow, instead of death Kai, primal chaos Kai was the one coming out. His thousand illusion spirit coffin had no defensive ability, and it could only be used as a disguise. There was no way for it to lock in the primal chaos Kai. If they were exposed, all their efforts would be for naught. Fortunately, Xia Chen reacted quickly enough, and the primal chaos Kai was sealed. The four of them immersed their bodies within this primal chaos Kai. Guo ran. You can't absorb the primal chaos Kai now. If you end up activating your heavenly Tao crown, we'll be exposed. Seeing Yuo Ran absorbing the primal chaos Kai, causing a crown to slowly appear on his head, Mo Nian hastily stopped him. Yuo Ran hastily stopped. Only then did the heavenly Tao crown slowly fade. Yuo Ran was currently only a single step away from condensing a heavenly Tao crown. The primal Chaos Kai here was continuing to surge out, delighting Mo Nian and the others. They had just opened a single crack from the coffin and already made such a gain. Mo Nian, Yu Ziaokian, and Zaya Chen delightedly absorbed it. Only Yuo Ran was forced to just watch. Looking outside, Mo Nian saw that no one noticed anything going on here. He then carefully pushed open the coffin further. They stuck their heads in. When they did, all four of them gasped. This coffin was its own world. There was a giant figure seated cross-legged within a 10,000-mile space. This enormous figure almost filled this space. It was their first time seeing someone so big. Guo ran. Sorry for this. Help us keep watch. We're going in to take a look, transmitted Mo Nain. Don't worry. Leave this place to me, said Guo Ran. He knew that he had the least use in this place, so it would be better for him to remain up here and be the sentry. Mo Nain and the others carefully crept into the coffin. Once they were right next to that giant figure, 
they realized that it had three eyes. It was covered in black scales, but where its three eyes were, there was a single sword stabbed into it. Clearly, that was the killing blow. However, although this three-eyed life-form was dead, the pressure it gave off still made Mo Nyan and the others' souls hurt. It felt like it was radiating some kind of pressure, making it difficult for them to get close to it. What kind of life-form is this? Why is it still so terrifying even in death? Xia Chen wondered in bewilderment. If such a terrifying life-form was alive, it probably wouldn't even need to attack. With a single sneeze, how many people within the heavenly tomb would survive? This should be the legendary Netherworld's tripartite race's three-eye giant race. That was a race whose might once shook the nine heavens in ancient times, said Yu Ziokian, carefully examining it with a trace of shock. She couldn't believe that such a terrifying existence would be buried here. Sister Ziokian, what is the tripartite race? asked Saya Chen. Yu Ziokian's learning stretched far and wide. There was practically nothing that she wasn't familiar with. The tripartite race refers to the race with three arms, three eyes, and three heads. Ah, the three arms here refers to three pairs of arms. The three-arm race possesses terrifying physical bodies. It is said that their arms can raise the heavens and stretch all the way to the stars. On the other hand, the three-eye race possesses magical abilities which overflow from their eyes limitlessly. Their three eyes contain three different laws, and they possess amazing pupil arts. As for the three-head race, it is said that they are undying existences, existences with the same longevity as the very cosmos. Whether it is the three-arm, three-eye, or three-head race, they also have many branches within them. This fellow should be from the three-eye giant race. They not only possess terrifying pupil arts, but their physical bodies are also very powerful, said Yu Ziokian. Don't look at its eyes, shouted Yu Ziokian suddenly. Unfortunately, her warning came one step too late. At this moment, Xia Chen coughed up blood. Yu Ziokian then waved her hand and a white light barrier appeared in front of Xia Chen. Mo Nian was also affected. He bent his waist and dry heaved, almost vomiting. What just happened? asked a pale Mo Nian. The three-eyed giant's eyes might be closed, but even its eyelids possess innate blood runes. The moment you looked at its eyes and used spiritual strength to investigate, it drew out an automatic counterattack said Yu Ziokian. You can't even look at its eyelids. Then what would happen if it opened its eyes? exclaimed Xia Chen. This was an incomprehensibly terrifying existence. Fuck, I also got affected. Even if a fallen life form's physical body doesn't decay, their blood should have already congealed. They shouldn't have a consciousness to counterattack. Something is definitely off here, cursed Mo Nian hatefully. Just then, he had been drawn into a manifestation and had seen something absolutely vile. The three-eyed giant might be an existence with power beyond anything that we've ever seen. We have to be careful, said Yu Ziokian a bit worriedly. The realm of this three-eyed giant already exceeded their current understanding. We can't care about it. Now, help me look after things. I'm going to start my archaeology. Mo Nian took out a set of tools. He then put on gloves and a belt that was covered in pockets and recesses for an axe, chisel, pincers, brush, tweezers, and other tools. He also put on a strange set of chain mail. Once he was wearing this chain mail, he actually managed to directly jump onto the three-eyed giant's shoulder, completely disregarding its pressure. In front of Yu Ziopian and Xia Chen's shocked gazes, he took off one of the three eye giant's earrings. Then it was the wrist protectors, the heart protecting mirror, and a giant wolf tooth club beneath its buttocks. It went without saying that Mo Nian truly had some skills. With his tools, 
he could even lift up such a giant body without the slightest effort. His movements were practiced and easy. After gathering those treasures, he began to study the sword stuck between the three eyes. However, after studying for it a long time, in the end he didn't dare to touch it. It's too bad. I don't dare to take this corpse. If Long Chen saw it, he would definitely start drooling. Ah, whatever. I'll have Long Chen take it later, said Mo Nian helplessly. Long Chen liked to gather corpses. This was known to all. Regretfully, no one dared to take this corpse. They left it as it was. The three of them then summoned their manifestations and quickly absorbed all the primal chaos Kai here. After that, they crawled out. They had just come out when they heard a huge explosive sound. A figure then shot toward them. It was Long Aoshin. Chapter 3849 Long Chen's Fury The three of them jumped in horror. Long Aoshin was actually flying at them, had they been noticed. However, they quickly realized that he was flying backward. Boom! Long Aoshin smashed into a coffin, and the coffin quivered. The chain connecting the coffin to the bronze cauldron was pulled taut. The immense force actually caused the bronze cauldron, which had been impossible to budge in the slightest this entire time, to finally quiver ever so slightly. Then, looking at Long Chen, they saw him surrounded by Violet Kai. The sea of stars behind him continued to revolve. He was like a battle god of the starry sky. Boss is mighty. Seeing this scene, Zaya Chen and Guo Ran felt their blood heating up. Long Aoshin was already so powerful, but he was still beaten by Long Chen. Through this fight, Long Chen had fully mastered the power of the seven stars. His power concentrated where he wanted it to with just a thought. There was no longer the slightest stiffness to it. It could be said that the current Long Chen had finally touched the entrance door of the nine-star hegemon body art. A seven-star diagram could be seen on the back of Long Chen's right and left hands, and violet stars flickered on top of his clothes. It was like a heartbeat, as it possessed some profound rhythm. Following this rhythm, the laws of the heavenly Taoists flowed like the tide. The heavenly boundary line was constantly quivering due to Long Chen's power. At this moment, Violet Kai flowed within endless stars, and the entire heavenly tomb was now a starry sky world. The vast stars emitted endless power, and people couldn't help being amazed. Now, Long Chen's aura was completely different from before. It was even more domineering and colder, overflowing with killing intent. Just a look at the current Long Chen made people's hearts shake. However, what was also shocking was that even after smashing into the coffin that hard, to the point that the coffin shook and the chain was stretched taut, Long Aoshin got back up as if he was completely fine. His manifestation... Yu Ziyokian was shocked to find that the world within Long Aoshin's manifestation was no longer filled with color. It had become a world of only black and white. The black world had a crescent moon shining high above it, while the white world had a bright sun filling it. White and black were both filled with their own individual flavors. While five colored divine light shone out of Long Aoshin's body, the black and white world behind him reflected each other. It looked extremely bizarre. And yet, when these seven colors were released, they released a grand and dignified aura. The experts in the distance were all stunned by the two of them. They were monsters. From the start to now, their auras only continued to climb. They had never stopped, so they were only growing stronger. Yin Cheng Shang, the Nine Underworld Yuacha, Shi Yang, and even the always calm Jai Wuming were all clenching their weapons tightly. An expert thirsted to find a powerful opponent. For them, a terrifying opponent was even more beneficial than ten masters. True experts all viewed battle as the real master. Battle was what tempered their will through the line between life and death. Battle was what raised their power, 
what gave them enlightenment of laws and daos the terrifying power that long chen and long ayashin had displayed shook everyone's heart they were all the peak experts of their respective factions in all their life they had never met an expert who could push them to the brink of death hence long chen and long ayashin's terrifying power didn't spark fear in them it only made their blood heat up to any expert a life and death battle had a powerful attraction if they won they would break out of their cocoon and be completely transformed if they lost their body would be destroyed and their soul extinguished thus cultivation was a path of no return if you wanted to get stronger you needed to constantly challenge your limit despite clearly knowing that you might lose your life you still had to face it enthusiastically at this point they no longer cared about the coffins and didn't even look at the cauldron they were currently hesitating about whether or not they should join this immense battle and have a real clash of experts interesting it seems that you also have a lucky opportunity in the immortal world however just relying on your starry star cultivation technique you cannot beat me long ayashin wiped the dust off of his body calmly that calm contained a certain disdain starry star cultivation technique long chen's expression twitched at this moment the dragon expert's voice rang out in his mind when you sent him away i erased all the memories relating to the nine stars from his soul looking at your seven star battle armor he cannot recall your six star battle armor from the martial heaven continent he thinks that your cultivation technique was learned in the immortal world only then did long chen recall it the dragon expert had helped him do many things in secret it was just that he wasn't aware of them it doesn't matter how powerful you are in front of me you will still be defeated furthermore you will have no choice but to accept your complete and utter defeat but it must feel bad because everything i have originally belonged to you ha 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 long ayashin laughed it seemed that the stronger long chen was the more excited he grew he didn't show the slightest fear your laugh is as loathsome as ever i just don't know how long you can keep laughing long chen stepped forward instantly crossing a giant space of hundreds of miles to strike long ayashin with his fist it's useless all your attacks have no effect you can never harm me long ayashin laughed what shocked people was that he directly stuck out his chest to receive long chen's attack Boom. long chen's fist caused long ayashin's chest to cave in long ayashin then shot back like a shooting star smashing into a distant wall leaving a giant hole debris and dust fell however long ayashin calmly walked out of that rain of rubble after lightly wiping some dust off of his body he sneered it's useless your attacks cannot injure me at this moment everyone was stunned just what was going on even such terrifying attacks were unable to harm long ayashin even yin cheng sheng and the others couldn't believe their eyes this strange phenomenon exceeded their understanding long chen don't waste time with him theoretically i shouldn't say this but the current you is not a match for him said the dragon expert heavily i don't believe that long chen's heart shook intensely the dragon expert was actually saying that he was inferior to long ayashin long chen was extremely reverent and grateful to the dragon expert he also had the utmost confidence in it however for it to say that long ayashin was superior to him he refused to accept it do you know just how powerful your seven color supreme blood is before you obtain my dragon king essence blood you cannot defeat him said the dragon expert calmly therefore you shouldn't waste time on him it would be better to take that cauldron you must preserve enough energy to leave your mark on that cauldron to awaken its slumbering self senior i'm sorry but i cannot listen to you this time i must defeat him 
Long Chen shook his head. The dragon expert's words had provoked Long Chen's battle intent. He then shot after Long Aoshin. His gaze was as sharp as a blade, and his battle intent was fully ignited. Chapter 3850 Long Chen's Undefeatable Dao Long Chen's Fists Shattered Heaven and Earth One punch after another struck Long Aoshin. However, Long Aoshin simply sneered and waved his hand. Although Long Chen was repeatedly forcing him back, constantly blasting him away like he was a sandbag, he still didn't suffer a injuries. What is going on? Zaya Chen and the others were all dumbfounded. Did Long Aoshin possess an undying body? Anyone else would have long since been blown apart by a single punch from Long Chen. However, no matter how long Aoshin was struck, he remained fine. Everyone was bewildered. You really are stubborn. He is using your seven-color supreme blood. Even if you beat him, you're only beating yourself. Are you going to get competitive even with yourself? The dragon expert couldn't help being a bit vexed upon seeing Long Chen crazily unleashing attack after attack, despite knowing that his attacks were meaningless. Senior, you don't understand. Ever since I was born, my life has been full of trouble and misfortune. Although what I've experienced is just a fraction of a fraction of what you've gone through, I can see my path clearly. I know what I must face, and this path of pitfalls and holes must be traversed directly. I know my strongest point is not my talent, intelligence, or any treasures I have. The reason I could walk through this blood-stained path of mine until today is entirely because of my unyielding spirit. I cannot lose to anyone, not even myself. I have to maintain that sharpness. In all these years, no matter what dangers I faced, I did not shrink back or hesitate. I faced them head on with utmost confidence that I would pass through another bloody battle that pushed me to the brink. Thus, no matter what kind of opponent I'm against, as long as it is someone in the same realm, I cannot be defeated. That is my path that is my Tao. No one can block my path, not even myself, responded Long Chen as he continued to fight. Hearing that, the dragon expert was silent for a long time before slowly saying, what you're saying is also logical. Fine, since you have that confidence, do as you please. Long Chen and Long Aoshin's fight, or perhaps it should be said Long Chen's violent beating of Long Aoshin that caused no injuries to Long Aoshin, left everyone stunned. Even Yin Changsheng and the others, true experts that had experienced countless battles, were unable to see what was going on. Long Chen, even if you use up all your energy, how long can you last? Once your ore starts to drop, how will you fight me? Ah, how are you angry? Resentful. I will make you experience having fate toy with you, leaving you helpless. Ha ha ha. Long Aoshin laughed arrogantly, even as he was beaten. Just as he laughed, another slap struck his face, sending him flying. This time, Long Chen didn't pursue him. He only stood in the air and coldly looked at him. Other than the power of the five elements, you also have the energy of light and dark. The dark energy is devouring power, and the light energy is healing power. Your dark energy absorbs a portion of my energy, so you only end up enduring 50% of my tax power. Even then, 50% is enough to injure you, just not too badly. In order to show how strong you are, you act fine even after being injured, making you seem undefeatable, creating the illusion that my attacks have no effect. In truth, you are simply using your light energy to heal as well. HMPH in this world, there exists no perfect technique. Long Aoshin, you are still the old you, always playing with shameful tricks. Long Aoshin was enraged at this slap. He didn't fear Long Chen's punches or kicks, but a face slap was a humiliating attack that no one could accept. However, after this speech from Long Chen, 
Long Ayushin was startled. Long Chen had actually seen through his technique. The black and white in his manifestation was just as Long Chen said. One devoured and the other healed. However, Long Ayushin had not fully awakened his seven-color supreme blood. His dark and light energy was unable to be summoned outside of his manifestation like with the power of the five elements. Despite that, they still gave him immense power. When most people attacked him, the dark energy directly devoured all of the damage. But then, Long Chen's energy was too powerful and concentrated to be devoured whole, so Long Ayushin's previously unmatched dark energy could only absorb half of it. As for the remaining half, he had to rely on the power of the five elements and his body to block it. The power of the five elements also blocked a portion of Long Chen's power. As a result, only around 40% of it ended up striking Long Ayushin. Of course, even 40% was enough to blow up a group of average supreme experts. On the surface, Long Ayushin acted unmoved. But in truth, his body was repeatedly injured. It was simply that his light energy possessed powerful restorative abilities. His injuries were silently healed. Thus, it appeared to everyone that Long Chen's attacks were ineffective. So what? Other than having the power of the five elements, I also have devouring power and healing power. Your attacks are weakened and unable to harm me. Even if you do injure me, those injuries are instantly healed. As for yourself, every bit of energy that you use up is gone. Once your aura drops, your fate will be set, sneered Long Ayashin. It was only after hearing them talk that he and Chang Sheng and the others understood the mysteries behind this strange phenomenon. However, they were still completely shocked by Long Ayashin's seven-color supreme blood. Yin Chang Sheng and the others were also supreme experts, and their supreme blood also had special qualities. Those powerful abilities made them incredibly arrogant. However, Compared to Long Ayashin's seven-color supreme blood, their supreme blood seemed completely ordinary. They had never heard of a supreme blood that possessed the powers of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, dark, and light. Clearly, Long Ayashin wasn't planning on bringing out anything else. Just by relying on this scoundrel technique, he wanted to forcibly exhaust Long Chen to death. It's too bad that your dark and light energy isn't strong enough. You can't summon it outside of your body, so you need to rely on your manifestation to use it. Otherwise, if you could do that, it really would be a bit troublesome to break this move of yours, said Long Chen lightly. My seven-color supreme blood still hasn't reached perfection. Only the power of the five elements can be summoned outside of my body. Despite that... It's enough to deal with you, said Long Ayashin confidently. Is that so? Then try and receive this attack. When Long Chen formed hand seals, space quivered and the sky darkened. A starry sky then covered the world. Astral summoning, Long Chen unleashed a single fist. Seven stars flowed on top of it, with 999 stars appearing around this ring of seven stars. This time, up in the sea of stars above the sky, 999 stars suddenly lit up. Boom! Long Chen's fist smashed into Long Ayashin. As a result, Long Ayashin's arms were both broken, and Long Chen's fist struck his chest. People also saw Long Chen's fist almost go through his back. Long Ayashin hacked up blood and bent like a shrimp, flying back. Chapter 3851 Dual Blood This punch shocked everyone. Before this, no matter what Long Chen did, he was unable to cause any substantial wounds to Long Ayashin. However, this time, he managed to make Long Ayashin hack up blood, but they were unable to sense any change in his aura. All they saw was 999 stars appear on his fist. In fact, when they appeared, everyone vaguely sensed that Long Chen's aura seemed to weaken slightly. 
In truth, when Long Chen drew the power of the stars into his body, he was using the astral energy that existed beyond the heavens. This power wasn't Long Chen's power, so he could only use it. He was unable to reach the level of absolute control. When this power was concentrated to the peak, even Long Chen couldn't control it, and Long Yashin's dark energy was unable to devour it. Thus, Long Chen's fist solidly struck Long Yashin. His arms were broken, and he hacked up blood. Cracks appeared in the space behind him. This punch seemed to almost cause heaven and earth to explode. This one punch instantly reversed the tides. However, seeing Long Yashin coughing up blood, Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. Violet blood? The blood that Long Yashin hacked up was actually violet. The violet was a bit illusory, seemingly spiritual. There seemed to be invisible runes flowing within it. When this violet blood was sped out, it transformed into illusory violet kai that enveloped Long Aoshin and slowly merged back into his body. Violet blood race. Impossible. Other than seven color supreme blood, he also possesses the supreme blood of the violet blood race. Exclaimed Yin Chengsheng. The moment this violet blood appeared, a supreme kai filled the air. That aura was not at all weaker than the aura of his seven color supreme blood. A single person possessing two kinds of supreme blood? How could that be? It wasn't just Yin Cheng Sheng and the others. Even Yu Ziaokian and the others couldn't believe their eyes. Just what kind of heaven defying opportunities had Long Aoshin encountered in the immortal world to come to possess violet blood? It had to be known that the only ones in this world with violet essence blood were the members of the violet blood race. No other race possessed this attribute. The violet blood race was one of the strongest races during the human race's peak. It was on par with the GLI and heavenly eye races. They were existences that suppressed all other races. After all, the violet blood race was one of the human race's most ancient, most powerful bloodlines. Its fame was unmatched. Long Chen was also glaring at that violet blood, his eyes full of hatred. He knew that this violet blood was his. More accurately, it came from his mother. If his supreme blood came from his father, then this violet blood came from his mother. He hadn't expected this violet blood to also awaken within Long Yashin's body. This all should have been his. They were the gifts his father and mother had left for him, but these gifts were what caused their family of three to be separated. Seeing this violet blood caused him to think of his mother. How could he not be enraged? Ah! Uh, Long Chen let out a roar. It was like the roar of a wounded beast. It shattered Grand Dao runes, causing them to fall from the sky like rain. Long Chen was furious. He thought of his father. He thought of his mother. He thought of how he had grown up without them. Because of this, his killing intent caused even the laws of the heavenly Daos to change. At that moment, he was like a god of slaughter that had come from the depths of hell. Are you angry? Ah! Oh. Long Aoshin laughed when he saw black marks appear in Long Chen's murderous eyes. The angrier Long Chen was, the happier he became. Your current expression is very satisfying. I didn't misjudge. This violet blood is also your supreme blood. You are the rarest dual supreme blood possessor. The Long Clan's patriarchs even said that my violet blood's purity has reached the pinnacle. That is why even though my seven-color supreme blood is so powerful, it does not manage to assimilate my violet blood. Both of them complement each other to give off unimaginable power. It is precisely due to this that awakening my dual supreme bloods is thousands of times more difficult than others. Even the Long Clan was only able to help me reach this extent after exhausting all their resources. To fully awaken my dual supreme blood will require a huge amount of primal chaos kai, which is why I came here but I really am fortunate to listen 
to the patriarch's arrangements. Do you know? At the same time as the three thousand worlds opened, the heavenly origin world also opened. That is also an ancient desolate world with primal chaos chi. The Long Clan's immemorial ruins are located there, and the Long Clan's inheritance can also be obtained there. But the patriarchs were worried that there wasn't enough primal chaos chi there to activate my spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. So they made me come here. Now thinking about it, it really is the workings of fate. The heavens want me to kill you to avenge my father and mother. Long Niashin smiled. That smile was twisted with killing intent. No, you're wrong. This is the heavens telling me to take back what is mine. Long Chen clenched his teeth. No longer wasting more words, he charged at Long Niashin. There was no flashness. It was simple and direct. Another fist smashed down, and it could not be simpler. It was entirely a competition of power. Violet blood dyes the heavens, limitless magical power. Long Aoshin raised his head and roared. After that, a pair of violet wings suddenly appeared on his back. They were made entirely of his essence blood. The moment that they appeared, divine light turned this world violet. Within this violet world was also a black and white world, and in front of this black and white world was Long Aoshin's five-colored figure. Three kinds of forces layered on top of each other, so beautiful divine light flew about. Long Aoshin was like a divine bird cutting through the void toward Long Chen. This is my strongest state. I will teach you what true power is. Long Aoshin laughed arrogantly. Both heaven and earth were torn apart while the stars in the sky shook. Long Chen and Long Aoshin were both blown back. Heavens, the heavenly boundary lying at this collision actually caused cracks to appear in the heavenly boundary line. Both of them were even with this exchange, neither was able to suppress the other. The two had just been blown back when they once more crashed toward each other. Die! The two of them both shouted, and the void beneath their feet exploded. They crashed together like stars. Both of them had scarlet eyes as they fought, creating a chaotic zone around them. In this zone, the light of the stars quivered, and Blood Kai gushed out. The two of them were surrounded by a giant domain of death. What kind of power is this? The sacred pill hall and the devil race's experts were completely horrified by what they were seeing. They had unleashed all their power to defend against these astral winds, but still felt waves of pressure crashing down on them. It felt like they might be crushed at any moment. All of them were supreme experts, but they were more like ants here. This was an immense blow to their ego. Not good. Long Chen is enraged. He's going all out now. Victory or defeat will be decided soon. We don't have much time. We have to quicken the pace. Seeing the heavenly boundary line rumbling and cracking, Mo Nian had a bad feeling. He hastily sent the thousand illusion spirit coffin toward the next coffin just as silently as they had with the first. Chapter 3000 Eight hundred fifty two enraged long Aoshin. This long Aoshin is too powerful. Do we really not need to support boss? Saya Chen hesitated. Seven color supreme blood on top of immemorial violet blood. Long Aoshin was a monster. Don't be such a worrywart. Long Chen's power definitely exceeds your imagination. Furthermore, his battle with Long Aoshin is one fated by the heavens. We cannot interfere. With Long Chen's pride, he will not permit us to help. So let's just do what we should do, said Mo Nain. He truly understood Long Chen. Although he hadn't spent that much time with Long Chen, he was another peak expert, so he could sense just how terrifying Long Chen was. Thus, no matter how terrifying Long Aoshin was, Mo Nian wasn't worried about Long Chen. Mo Nian brought them to the rest of the coffins. 
with their experience with the first one everything became easy what shocked them was that every coffin contained an absolutely terrifying life form their physical bodies were perfectly intact although their souls had died their physical bodies were so perfectly intact that it looked like they were alive that terrifying pressure pressed them back Hugh O'Ran was in charge of keeping watch while Zaya Chen gathered the primal chaos kai once all the primal chaos kai was gathered they moved on this was a priceless treasure after all the primal chaos kai eruption had yet to occur if they wanted to absorb it they would have time later however if their heavenly Tao crowns manifested too soon because they absorbed too much of it right now they would no longer be able to fight in that case they would have to find a safe place to go into seclusion until their heavenly Tao crown was fully condensed otherwise if they missed that the heavenly Tao crown that they condensed might collapse or be imperfect thus they didn't dare to absorb too much primal chaos kai right now especially duo ran they might pass the critical point with just a bit more now wasn't the time for that Zaya chen absorbed most of the primal chaos kai with his talismans only a very small amount remained which they directly absorbed mo nyan demonstrated what a true professional was the things within the coffins were all stripped away by him even the fur scales and horns on some of these life forms were taken away of course there were also their weapons battle armor and other priceless treasures other than some of the things that he could use he gave the rest to Zaya chen to use his words if he were to keep them his immoral master would come and take them away thus he chose to keep the wealth in the family by giving it to Zaya Chen. After all, the Dragon Blood Legion was newly gathered and needed wealth and treasures to equip themselves. Hearing this, Zaya Chen was very grateful to Mo Nian. It had to be known that the auras of these weapons were terrifying. They definitely exceeded world's domain divine items. But Mo Nian didn't even bat an eye as he tossed them all to Zaya Chen that was something worthy of respect the regretful thing was that these terrifying weapons lacked item spirits they had countless runes on them but those runes were lightless without an item spirit there was no way to activate the runes and draw out the full power of these weapons however that wasn't difficult for Zaya Chen he could nourish new item spirits in the future and inject them into these divine items at that time these terrifying weapons would once more see the light of day although mo nyan took all the weapons and items he didn't dare to touch the corpses he had a feeling that these life forms might not be actually dead perhaps they were in a slumber and could awaken at any moment they went through over ten coffins all these life forms came from different races not one of them was identical the more they searched the more stunned they grew these life forms were absolutely terrifying. Just getting close to them caused their souls to hurt. If they were alive, just how powerful would they be? All these life forms had actually been killed. They had fatal injuries, and those injuries were alarming. It was as if they spoke of what kind of terrifying battle that had been. Just as Mo Nyan and the others were stealthily flipping through the coffins, long chen and long aoshin's fight grew increasingly intense they had reached their peak power and both of them were dyed with blood long chen was unleashing all of his power with every attack not holding back at all as for long aoshin he was also facing long chen with his full power every exchange caused heaven and earth to tear and crack both of them were injured from the start to now they had been fighting for six hours but even now their attacks were like a wild tempest without any sign of weakening their attacks grew increasingly sharp Boom. at this moment a fist struck long aoshin's chest causing it to cave in the sound of bones breaking then rang out and he coughed up blood as for long chen 
he was clawed by long ayashin in the arm leaving five bloody cuts through which people could see his bone the two once more exchanged blows and were injured again but they didn't bat an eye and kept attacking my light energy is limitless it doesn't matter how many times i'm injured i can always heal but how long can you last shouted long ayashin as he fought his chest healed in just a few breaths his recovery ability was astonishing you should worry about yourself if you have any final words say them now snorted long chen previously when he competed with yin chang sheng for the fu sing tree he obtained the crown of the tree luckily there were millions of corpses on the crown and long chen had tossed them all into the primal chaos space as a result the primal chaos space was filled with life energy and primal chaos kai so his injuries were nothing everyone watching was dumbfounded the two of them didn't just have terrifying power their recovery speed was also monstrous it was like they had undying bodies long chen you idiot you are still as conceited as ever you don't even understand even with death at hand my trump cards pal just as long ayashin started speaking in the middle of their fight long chen's ghost-like slap struck him in the face again he was even done talking before he was slapped away after slapping him long chen disdainfully said you're the idiot even if you take my spirit blood spirit root and spirit bone so what how much of their power can you bring out you want to defeat me in my strongest area in truth your power is weaker than mine your speed is lower than mine your reaction speed is slower and your combat experience is completely insufficient other than bragging and saying big words i really don't know in which area you are stronger than me an insect is an insect even if you steal someone else's talent you can never cultivate into a dragon your father and mother were shameless thieves the dragon births dragons phoenixes birth phoenixes but a rat can only give birth to more rats your entire family is simply a group of thieves capable of only doing shameful things in the dark remember experts are experts they don't covet other people's talents as for you you will never be more than a dancing clown a monkey wearing imperial robes will never be able to pass itself off as an emperor long chen's words were like arrows piercing long ayashin's soul they pierced him in his weakest spot bullshit i'm not playing around with you any longer you can just die long ayashin's face twisted he suddenly waved his hand and a five-colored flag appeared in it long ayashin had finally taken out his weapon when this weapon appeared divine might unfurled throughout this world chapter three thousand eight hundred fifty three sun moon five element flag this was a terrifying divine weapon the flagpole was ten meters long looking like a spear and its entire body was covered in a twisting black and white pattern with a quiver of this flagpole the void rumbled on top of the flagpole the triangular flag had five blank runes at this moment the runes on long ayashin's forehead hands and feet came off of his body and were embedded in those five spots once the five elemental runes were embedded in the flag it seemed to come to life five colored divine light burst out of it and the power of the five elements tore through the void this is the weapon that the long clan's patriarch personally created for me the sun moon five element flag today your life will end in front of it long ayashin roared his hair flying about wildly he then raised the flagpole wrapping it in all the power of the world before directly smashing it at long chen in that instant it was like all the energy of the world was sucked away by the sun moon five element flag heaven and earth were about to be crushed facing it the minghong saber came out of its sheath with stars flowing on top of it long chen instantly transferred the energy of the stars into his saber 
As a result, 999 stars lit up on the blade, split the heavens for two divine weapons crashed together, containing all the power of these two peerless experts. It was an exchange to end everything, to kill the opponent or die trying. The next moment, countless fragments of divine light shot out in every direction. They were like sharp swords piercing the void. Not good. Yin Chang Sheng and the others hastily summoned defenses, but they were still one step too slow. Those sharp swords swept through them. Countless experts of the devil race and the sacred pill hall were annihilated by these rays of light. In front of this destructive power, they were like ants, unable to even resist in the slightest. As the sharp swords tore through the world, flames raged and lightning danced. It was truly an apocalyptic sight. Following that, they heard an immense explosion as endless fragments of space-time exploded. Everyone was drawn into that chaotic flow. Their vision twisted and turned. When space finally calmed down, the heavenly tomb was gone. All the survivors saw was a barren wasteland. This minor world known as the heavenly tomb had been forcibly destroyed. However, although the heavenly tomb was gone, the heavenly boundary line remained, and so was the bronze cauldron. The coffins chained to it were also still floating in the air. Damn, that was dangerous. Xia Chen and the others stuck their heads out of a coffin. Looking at the ruined world, they felt a chill. Fortunately, they had been hidden in a coffin, so none of that power reached them. They silently managed to pass through this calamity. As for Yin Changsheng and Xiang, their expressions weren't very good right now. Of all the experts they had brought with them, only a few hundred remained. They had been careless to not summon defenses in advance. The terrifying aftermath came before they had time to react, resulting in them only able to protect the ones directly behind them. Tens of thousands of supreme heavenly geniuses were killed. Thinking about this, Qi Yang and Yin Changsheng were both shocked and enraged. To not even be able to protect their own subordinates was a naked slap in their faces. The most infuriating thing was that Long Aoshin and Long Chen weren't even looking at them. The two of them didn't care about what was happening outside their battlefield. Long Chen and Long Aoshin's weapons were still locked against each other. Kai waves continued to crash out of the two of them as they tried to suppress the other. Both of them were badly wounded. There were countless cracks throughout their bodies, and blood oozed out of those cracks, blown away by the astral winds. They were like two porcelain bottles that had been struck and were on the verge of shattering. However, they both clenched their teeth and endured. Neither retreated. That ominous sight was astonishing. Even for Yin Changsheng and the others, seeing two people be so ruthless was a first. Long Chen and Long Aoshin were both severely wounded, their lives hanging by a single thread. But neither was even thinking about retreating. Right now, they were seeing who could suppress the other. Retreat represented defeat, and they would rather die than admit defeat. At this moment, even Mo Nian was no longer in the mood to search for treasures. Victory or defeat would soon be decided. However, Mo Nian wasn't worried about Long Chen losing. What he was worried about was Jai Wuming, this terrifying assassin, making a move while both of them were severely wounded. That would be too dangerous. Suddenly, both of them howled and the essence blood around them ignited. This was clearly a self mutilating technique to draw out even just the slightest bit more power. The stars behind Long Chen rumbled and roared. As he had pushed his astral energy to the limit, his stars were flickering, their astral energy exhausted. It could be said to be his most difficult fight ever. As for Long Aoshin, he was in no better condition. The five-colored light around him had retreated, and the seven-colored world behind him was now illusory, looking like it might fade at any moment. Boom! Suddenly, Long Aoshin's body shook, and coughing up blood, 
he flew back coward this is why even with my spirit blood spirit root and spirit bone you aren't a match for me i long chen walked out of the mortal world step by step everything i have i obtained myself as for you you don't even dare to risk your life that only proves that your inner heart is that of a coward you are afraid of losing you are afraid of death the reason that you are so afraid is because you aren't confident in yourself someone who can't even believe in themselves can never become an expert shouted long chen both of them had reached their limits and were seeing who would be the first to be unable to endure that person would die but in the end long aoshin was too afraid to do so and ran the price of retreating was that long chen's overwhelming power flowed into his body as a result long aoshin hacked up three mouthfuls of blood and his aura grew listless idiot a man knows how to use his brain my supreme blood hasn't fully awoken yet how can i waste it on someone as worthless as you killing you is a minor matter that i can do whenever i want why foolishly waste my talent on someone like you shouted long aoshin darkly previously long aoshin had said that he would defeat long chan in his strongest area regretfully he had failed and now he quibbled about it that was slapping his own face my seven color supreme blood hasn't fully awoken and i can only control the slightest bit of my violet blood most importantly the primal chaos violet blood is not used to strengthen myself well i'm not going to waste words on you you're already powerless on the other hand i've pretty much exhausted my seven color supreme blood but i still have the majority of my violet blood you can rest in peace now dying to your mother's family's supreme technique should make you die happy long aoshin's voice was already weak but when he raised his left hand violet blood gathered into mysterious runes that revolved in the air a violet spear then slowly condensed in his hand when it appeared terrifying pressure caused this world to shake the earth slowly sank this violet blood spear was something gods and devils would flee from the long aoshin that was weakened to this extent was actually capable of summoning such a powerful move everyone's heart clenched die with a wave of his hand long aoshin sent that blood spear piercing toward long chen chapter three thousand eight hundred fifty four world extermination snow lotus the spear was condensed of violet blood rooms as long aoshin's seven color supreme blood was exhausted he switched to his violet blood long aoshin was too powerful he possessed dual supreme blood with both being the unmatched type either one could be used to dominate the world yet he actually possessed two legend had it that the violet blood race was a race chosen by the heavens their essence blood was innately a miniature version of the heavenly dows it was divine blood that was closest to the laws of the heavenly dows when the violet blood appeared the power of the heavenly dows converged the void was constantly being broken unable to contain the power of this violet spear facing it long chen put away the ming hong saber the next moment a flame lotus appeared in his left hand and a spear of lightning appeared in his right hand he actually summoned both the world extermination flame lotus and the world extermination lightning radiance at once flames soared and lightning thundered long chen smashed the two together in a forceful merger you idiot this attack caused the dragon expert to curse the current long chen didn't have much energy left it was not at all suitable to go for a direct clash if long chen instead used his lightning and flame energy to defend creating a solid defense that exhausted all the energy of long aoshin's essence blood he would definitely save a great deal of energy however instead of saving energy defending he had chosen to face an attack with another attack 
He was completely wasting this opportunity. When the lightning and flame energy crash into the spear, the spear collapsed. Long Aoshin then hacked up blood and was blown back. As for Long Chen, he was no better off. He coughed up blood, and his arms were a bloody pulp. Even his bones were exposed. Long Chen once more drew on the primal chaos space's life energy to recover, but he was shocked to find that there was no longer any life energy to draw out. When he looked inside, he found that the wood foundation divine trees were withered and the medicinal plants were listless. Even the devil I water lilies had wilted and simply lay in the water, exhausted. The entire primal chaos space was dried up. Only then did Long Chen think of how he had repeatedly drawn on this life energy in his fight against Long Aoshin. He hadn't even realized that he had used up all his life energy reserve. At this moment, the only living vegetations were the seven treasure-colored glass tree, the heavenly Tao tree, and the sprouts of the moon trees. The rest had all withered. This battle had truly been intense. So many immemorial corpses were devoured, unleashing an ocean's worth of life energy. But it was all used up. It's time to end things. Long Chen took a deep breath and formed hand seals. The next moment, lightning raged, forming a sea of lightning within this world. As a result, the aura of heavenly tribulation unfurled, and the destructive will of the heavenly Daos descended. Lei Linger appeared, holding a lightning sword. Immersed within the sea of lightning, she raised her sword, and that sea of lightning was sucked up by her sword. Lei Linger didn't say any vicious words. She directly hacked down her sword. Long Aoshin had just exchanged a brute force attack with Long Chen, so he was still coughing up blood. Seeing Lei Linger coming for him, he raised his hand. His violet blood spear once more appeared. Oh, the violet blood spear was shattered by Lei Linger's attack. Long Aoshin had been exhausted, while Lei Linger was unleashing all her power in one attack. She even borrowed Long Chen's spiritual strength. At this moment, Lei Linger's sword struck Long Aoshin's head. Everyone thought that he was definitely dead. However, just as Lei Linger's sword touched Long Aoshin's head, a golden imperial crown appeared on his head, blocking her attack. Following the appearance of the golden crown, golden scales covered Long Aoshin's body. He was quickly completely covered. All of a sudden, an ancient and sacred aura erupted. Lei Linger's body was actually blasted apart by that aura, transforming into lightning runes. Big Brother Long Chen. Lei Linger once more took human form and returned to Long Chen's side with a shocked expression. She hadn't had any ability to resist that power just now. That isn't his power. It should be the immemorial Long Clan's life-saving trump card. I knew that the Long Clan wouldn't let him die. Long Chen looked sharply at the Long Aoshin that was wrapped in golden light. Let me go, big brother Long Chen. Give me all your spiritual strength, and we'll use the Nirvana scripture together. I will unleash the power of the ice soul in the world extermination flame lotus. That will definitely kill him, said Huo Linger. The current Long Chen still had 80% of his spiritual strength. Just now, he had only split a portion for Lei Linger because he had had a feeling that Long Aoshin wouldn't be so easy to kill. This premonition was not wrong. Long Aoshin still had a trump card. When this golden crown and armor appeared, a figure appeared in his manifestation. This figure was blurry looking to be an elder. But his face was unclear, and he gave off an exceedingly ancient and dignified aura. As Long Aoshin's aura was infected by him, golden light filled this world. This powerful aura then pressed against everyone. Long Chen, I told you that you were definitely dead today. Now do you have anything else to say? Wrapped in this golden light, Long Aoshin's voice was like that of a god and resounded throughout this world. 
Even his voice had become a bit ancient and bloody. Moreover, Long Aoshin's injuries were already fully healed. It was like he was reborn, and his aura was even stronger than before. At this moment, Yin Changsheng and the others' expressions all changed. Long Aoshin was practically a monster. His trump cards were limitless. You've already lost. You are simply relying on external power to save yourself. However, you still have the face to act arrogant. How can a loser who has fully lost still be so arrogant? I really admire that shamelessness. To be able to eat your own shit so easily. I will never be able to match you in this regard, said Long Chen disdainfully. A person about to die also dares to say such words. Go cry in the other world. As Long Aoshin formed hand seals, the figure behind him moved, and a fist came out of that illusory manifestation. An ancient aura then unfurled, filling with an undying divine radiance. Even before this fist landed, the world began to sink. This was a killer blow. Long Chen, I will help you block this attack. Go grab the cauldron. The dragon expert's voice rang out. No. I will take the cauldron and kill him myself. Long Chen and Huo Linger formed hand seals and chanted, emitting the holy sound of the Nirvana scripture. A snow-white flame lotus then appeared. This flame lotus rapidly grew. Just before the fist landed, it was fully formed. Co. World Extermination Flame Lotus. Long Chen and Huolinger's hand seals changed one final time, and this snow lotus crashed into the fist with boundless divine might. This attack was Huolinger's full power attack. She didn't hold anything back. Chapter 3850 Five World Shaking Collision One was a fist that could destroy the 10,000 Daos, and the other was a flame lotus that incinerated the nine heavens. At this moment, Two apocalyptic powers crashed ruthlessly in front of everyone's horrified gazes. This time, Yin Chang Sheng and the others had learned their lesson. They had not only fled far into the distance, but they had also raised their defenses. As for Mo Nian and the others, they hastily sank back into the coffin and closed the lid. Boom! Mo Nian and the others let out muffled grunts as they were shaken by the impact. When the coffin rocked, it felt like their insides were being displaced. This attack was even more terrifying than the last exchange. After the terrifying shockwaves were gone, Mo Nian and the others stuck their heads out of the coffin again. However, they were shocked to find that their coffin was now covered in cracks. The heavenly boundary lied. Mo Nian couldn't help crying out in shock. The heavenly boundary line was actually gone and this world was still shaking. Having lost its balance, the 10,000 Daos were quivering and the laws were crying out. Even so, they couldn't look at anything else. Their gazes all fell on Long Chen, and they saw him standing in the air, his aura incredibly weak now. There was a lightning dragon coiling around his body. The lightning dragon shattered at this moment. Lei Linger had dragged out her final bit of power to protect Long Chen. Otherwise, that terrifying attack would have reduced him to dust. Let alone Long Chen in his current state, even in his peak condition, at such a close range, he would definitely lose half his life if he was struck. Heaven and earth were in ruins as Huo Linger had mobilized the Ice Soul's core energy. Although her ice soul power had not reached its full potential, the ice soul divine flame was ranked eight on the heavenly flame. It was a terrifying existence with the power to destroy entire worlds, so her full power attack was something that exceeded the 10,000 Daos. Furthermore, with both of them using the Nirvana scripture, its power was multiplied. Even Lei Linger's full defensive might had almost failed to hold on. Then, looking at Long Aoshin, they saw that his crown and armor were slightly dimmer, but he hadn't suffered any injuries. Truly monstrous. Mao Nian clicked his tongue when he saw the devastation around him. 
whether it was Longchen or Long Ayashin, they were both monsters. Yin Changsheng, Jia Wuming, Xi Yang, and the nine underworld Yuacha were all stunned. These two were already exhausted, yet still had such terrifying trump cards. Jai Wuming in particular was shocked. He had been thinking about launching a sneak attack to eliminate Long Chen and Long Ayashin together. Fortunately, he had held himself back. Otherwise, if he had rashly attacked while the two of them still possessed such terrifying power, then if the two of them joined hands, not even a hundred of his lives would be enough to survive this. After this exchange, snow fell through the air and remnant flames were still burning. The ice soul divine flame had ignited the very laws of the heavenly Taoists. Only once there was no fuel left did they turn to ashes and fall from the heavens. Even as ashes, they possessed terrifying flame energy. The icy flame burned this world, and every person felt like they were on a stove. This was the ice soul divine flame. Even if its full potential was yet to be reached, it still possessed the power to destroy the heavenly Taoists. Looking at this terrifying aftermath, Yin Changsheng's eyes were red. This ice soul divine flame should have been his, but it had been taken by Long Chen. Long Ayashin's body was wrapped in golden light. Although that light had dimmed slightly, he himself wasn't injured in the slightest. As for the figure behind him, he was forming hand seals and sending more divine light into Long Ayashin's body. Long Chen, my gold dragon crown and gold dragon armor are the priceless inheritance treasures of the immemorial Long Clan. The unmatched divine power of the Long Clan's great ancestor is contained within them. As long as he doesn't die, then even within the three thousand worlds, I have an endless source of energy. If the crown is not destroyed, the battle armor will exist forever. With these two treasures, no one in this world can kill me. I already said that it didn't matter how strong you were. Everything is meaningless. The person to die will be you. Do you feel regretful now? You are also a descendant of the immemorial Long Clan, but it was I who soared to the peak because of your spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. On the other hand, you will lose to your own ancestors' divine might. Ha ha ha, that really is satirical and pitiful. Long Ayashin laughed. His voice was still as arrogant as ever, but now it was lacking some power. His aura was weakening. Even with the assistance of his ancestors' divine energy, even with the protection of the crown and armor, he was on the verge of collapse. How contemptible! This bastard has always been this despicable. Boss uses his own power, while he hides behind the long clan's tortoise shell, and yet he can still act so pleased. How hateful! Yuo Ran cursed furiously upon seeing Long Ayashin's pleased expression. Don't call their ancestor a tortoise randomly. Boss is also from the Long clan. However, this Long Ayashin is truly despicable. Despite clearly losing, he still acts so arrogant. It's like he doesn't realize that he has lost. Fuck! Don't let him end up in my hands or I have ten thousand ways to make him regret coming to this world, said Zaya Chen, clenching his teeth so hard that they itched. Long Ayashin had been planning on defeating Long Chen in his strongest area. He had wanted to beat Long Chen directly, overwhelmingly, with brute power. It was because he wanted Long Chen to die while feeling endless unwillingness and despair. That was the only way to resolve his hatred. However, Long Chen was too powerful, so powerful that it exceeded his imagination. No matter what technique he brought out, Long Chen could beat him back in the most domineering manner. After both of them had brought out their trump cards, Long Chen was still above Long Ayashin. Now the two were exhausted, and Long Ayashin actually brought out the power of the Long clan. Unfortunately, at this time, Long Chen no longer possessed the power to retaliate. That's about enough. Now, it's time for Grandpa Mo to show off. Mo Nai and Chortled. This result was entirely within his expectations. 
From the start, he already felt that Long Ayashin wouldn't be a match for Long Chen. That was his expert's intuition. It didn't matter how powerful Long Ayashin was. He was only powerful due to external forces, while Long Chen's power came from himself. Even if the two were equally matched, if they were to fight ten times, Mo Nian believed that Long Chen would be the victor every time. The greatest difference between them was their confidence in themselves. Long Aoshin relied on external power for everything. All his power came from others, and not one thing was built up by himself. Thus, in a clash of power, Mo Nian believed that Long Aoshin would undoubtedly lose. An expert's intuition was truly shocking. Mo Nian's prediction was very accurate. In the end, Long Ayashin still lost. It didn't matter what terrifying trump card he took out, he would be unable to change this result. Toward the end, he even cheated. This was also within Mo Nian's predictions. For a heavenly genius with limitless potential like Long Ayashin, the immemorial Long clan would definitely not let him die. They would prepare countless life-saving treasures for him. Long Chen, I admit that I lost this time. But so what? You're still the one who's going to die. Ahaha, so what if you're strong? In the end, you lose to fate. Long Ayashin laughed and walked toward Long Chen with the Sun Moon Five Element flag in his hand. Mo Nian raised his bow. He was about to stand when Long Chen suddenly sneered. If I want to kill you, then even if all the gods and devils of the world came, they would be unable to protect you. Who cares about some little ancestor of the Long Clan? Long Chen closed his eyes. At the same time, endless dark energy erupted from inside his body, dimming heaven and earth. A sinister murderous aura then filled the world. Chapter 3856 Three Flower Death Blow At this moment, a three petal flower mark appeared in Long Chen's left eye. This was the appearance of the three flower pupils. Long Chen was using the power of three flower pupils with his purgatory eyes. An enormous three flower diagram then appeared within the world. When this three flower diagram covered Long Aoshan, his hair instantly stood on end. An intense sensation of crisis also filled his heart. His Sun Moon Five Element Fly then quivered, and he smashed it at the Three Flower Diagram. However, the void simply trembled while the Three Flower Diagram was untouched. It was visible but somehow invulnerable. The next moment, the mark in Long Chen's left eye spun. Only when his cultivation base had reached this point could he barely control the true power of the purgatory eyes. Three flower death blow. Long Chen clenched his teeth, and the flowers in his eye quivered. The spot where they all met was originally empty. But as Long Chen's spiritual strength surged, that empty space became a whirlpool. Once this whirlpool formed, black blood came out of his eye, and an intense pain struck his soul. The three-flower diagram was originally illusory, but right now it became solid in an instant. A strange whirlpool then appeared right in front of Long Ayashin. Heaven-Earth cover. Seeing this strange whirlpool, Long Ayashin hastily cried out. His manifestation quivered, and the figure's hand seals changed. A protective barrier then appeared around him. Boot. However, this protective barrier had just appeared when it was destroyed by the whirlpool. The figure behind Long Ayashin also exploded. Long Ayashin screamed. Half of his body was devoured by that whirlpool. Blood mist filled the air. It was like an invisible beast had just bitten away half of his body. The next moment, the free flower diagram exploded and Long Ayashin was sent flying. Everyone was shocked to find that half of his golden armor was gone, devoured by the whirlpool. Shit, I didn't have enough spiritual strength. I missed. Sharp pain stung Long Chen's left eye as though it was going to split open. Unleashing this attack came at an immense price for him. Regretfully, as this was his first time doing this and his spiritual strength was already exhausted, 
the center of his pupil art was a bit off target. Previously, he had made sure to reserve some power when unleashing the world extermination flame lotus with Huo Linger. Back then, his spiritual strength was about 80%. He then kept half of that in reserve to use the purgatory eyes. 40% of his spiritual strength was enough to activate the purgatory eyes, but his control was a bit off. If the core of the whirlpool had been accurately placed on Long Ayashin's head, he would definitely be deader than dead. At this moment, lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back. He shot after Long Ayashin. The current Long Ayashin had lost the support of that illusory figure and was on his last breaths. He no longer had the power to fight. Killing him would require only one move. Heavenly Dragon Space Lock Formation Before Long Chen could get close, countless experts had come over to interfere and set up a formation. They were the experts of the immemorial Long Clan. A group of ants think they can stop my revenge. Seeing these supreme experts block his path, Long Chen snorted and the Minghong saber swung out. Even if he was exhausted, his killing intent was still decisive. Fool, ignore that Long Yashin. Yin Changsheng is already placing a spiritual mark on the cauldron. If you still do nothing, the bronze cauldron will be taken by him, and you'll regret it for a lifetime. Just as Long Chen was about to blast his way through, the dragon expert urged him to give up, sounding completely exasperated. Only then did Long Chen notice that the floating bronze cauldron was starting to glow. Milky white runes had appeared on top of it. Yin Changsheng had long since noticed that this cauldron was extraordinary. After he arrived here, he secretly used his spiritual strength to commune with it. This cauldron had countless flame runes on it, so Yin Changsheng used his flame energy to secretly nourish it, hoping to form a resonance with it. As long as he formed a resonance with it, he could place his spiritual seal on it and take it. However, he was paying an immense price to do so, as he was using his essence blood and faith energy, to nourish it through space. After a while, it was finally starting to react, and now he was placing his spiritual mark on it. This was all done using a secret art that no one else noticed. Only when the spiritual mark was starting to manifest did people notice something. Courting death, the Nine Underworld Yuacha was the first to turn against him. That bronze cauldron was clearly a priceless treasure but Yin Chengshen actually wanted to take it first. Ha ha ha, it's useless. The spiritual mark has already been placed. This cauldron is mine. Yin Chengshen laughed loudly. In front of the Nine Underworld Luach's attack, he didn't block. Instead, he shot toward the cauldron. The chains around it were clinking. Strange sounds came from them. It was as if the cauldron would escape from its bindings at any moment. Sorry, but this treasure has a destiny with me. Don't even think about taking it. At this moment, Mo Nian suddenly blocked Yin Chengsheng along with Yu Ziyopian, Zaya Chen, and Guo Ran, not giving him a chance to get close to the cauldron. Idiots, no one can take what is mine. Yin Chengsheng was startled to see them appear in front of him, but quickly realized that the figures he was seeing in the distance were no more than illusions. They had all been tricked. However, he was still very confident. But then I want to try it. Mo Nian laughed and lightly pulled his bow. His crescent bow completely locked onto Yin Chengsheng. Suddenly, Yin Chengsheng slipped out of Mo Nian's lock, startling him. It was his first time having someone escape from his lock. Yin Chengsheng's body vanished. When he reappeared, he was on top of the bronze cauldron. He, he can already use the power of the cauldron. Xia Chen's expression changed. But Mo Nian unleashed his arrow. But before it could even touch Yin Chengsheng, it was blasted apart by the divine light of the bronze cauldron. Not good. Mo Nian's expression changed. 
He hadn't expected Yin Qingsheng to be so efficient. He could actually control the bronze cauldron. What they didn't realize was that Yin Qingsheng had gambled. He had fed 80% of his essence blood, spiritual strength, and faith energy to this cauldron. He had thought about giving up several times midway because he was worried that the cauldron wouldn't react even if he fed it all of his power. Then he would lose his chance to fight for it at all. However, Yin Zhengsheng was a ruthless figure, so he continued to feed it all his energy until he finally succeeded. After consuming so much of his essence blood, this cauldron finally felt close to him. The nine underworld Yuacha, Jai Wuming, Xi Yang, and the others all attacked, but their attacks were unable to touch Yin Chengsheng. All their attacks were shattered by the bronze cauldron. Thus, all of their expressions grew ugly. Aha, accept your fates. I, Yin Chengsheng, am the destined master of this cauldron. This treasure is mine. Bronze cauldron, recognize your master. Yin Chengsheng laughed and shouted. He then fed his remaining essence, Kai, and spirit to the bronze cauldron. A giant rune lit up on the cauldron, and that was the rune to acknowledge a master. This bronze cauldron was on the verge of fully becoming Yin Changsheng's weapon. You're getting happy too soon. This treasure is mine. Suddenly, Long Chen's ice voice rang out. The three flower mark once more appeared, this time on the cauldron. Yud. Yin Changsheng was shocked. Chapter 3000 Eight hundred fifty seven fight for the ancient cauldron. The three flower mark once more appeared, and the target was the large master acknowledgement room. Buzz. That room was originally shining brightly, but all its power was instantly erased when this whirlpool appeared. As the room dimmed, Yin Changsheng coughed up blood. After that, the bronze cauldron's divine light sent him flying. Long Chen, you got him, bastard. You won't have a good death. Yin Chengsheng let out a heart-rending roar. This attack had directly erased all of his efforts. With the master acknowledgement interrupted, all his efforts were for nothing. The chance has come. The nine underworld Yuacha, Xiang, Jai Wuming, Mo Nian, Yu Ziogian, and the others all charged at the bronze cauldron. With Yin Chengsheng stopped, the others now all had a chance. As a result, they were all blown away. Not one person managed to get through the cauldron's protective divine light. Only Long Chen slipped through that protective light and directly flew to the bronze cauldron. Everyone was dumbfounded. How can this be? raged Chi Yang. Just as Long Chen was about to touch the bronze cauldron, a figure reached it even faster than him. Long Yashin. Everyone was further shocked. Long Yashin was actually faster than Long Chen despite being almost killed just now. He now only had half of his body left and looked horrifying. With a blood-stained hand, he smacked the bronze cauldron. The cauldron rumbled. It was actually moved by Long Yashin and was sent smashing toward Long Chen. I understand. The bronze cauldron absorbed the blood of three people. So it has recognized all three of them, exclaimed Yu Ziokian. With that, everyone instantly understood. Yin Changsheng had secretly fed the cauldron his essence blood. But during the fight between Long Chen and Long Aoshin, plenty of their blood had been spilled and absorbed by the cauldron as well. However, the rest of them hadn't paid that price. That was why they were all instantly rejected, but Yin Changsheng, Long Chen and Long Aoshin could go through its protective light. Dai, there's no weapon that can stop this cauldron's attack, roared Long Aoshin. With Long Aoshin's hands on it, the bronze cauldron's master acknowledgement room once more lit up. It was also willing to accept Long Aoshin as its master. All three of them had the capability to make the bronze cauldron acknowledge them. It was just a matter of who would be first. It was a pity that Yin Changsheng had already been blown away. As for Long Chen, he was now being attacked by the cauldron. If he blocked it, 
he would definitely be blown apart by the cauldron's power. If he dodged it, Long Ayashin would complete the master acknowledgement process. Then no one would be able to touch him. In front of this rumbling cauldron, Long Chen took out the black dagger. However, he didn't dare to actually stab it. Instead, he threw it at the bronze cauldron. Bang! The black dagger smashed into the bronze cauldron with a strange sound. It was heavy, as if two enormous existences had lightly touched. It wasn't loud and didn't unleash intense fluctuations. But the chains on the bronze cauldron shattered. Following that, Long Ayashin, who was still pushing the cauldron, hacked up blood and was blown away. The black dagger and the bronze cauldron were undamaged. But this light touch caused the entire world to shake. At this moment, the chains exploded and those coffins were no longer bound by them. They began to explode one after another. Following that, heaven-shaking auras erupted. Not good. Those immemorial corpses are being awakened. Mal Nayan's expression completely changed. If those terrifying life forms really did come out, then, let alone fighting them, everyone would probably be wiped out of existence with just a breath. Suddenly, a giant figure came out of one of the broken coffins. It was a devil ape whose entire body was black. Beating its chest, it roared, and a wild sound wave destroyed the void. The sacred pill hall, the devil race, and Long Ayashin's people simply exploded. As for Mo Nian, Nian Chagsheng, and the others, they coughed up blood. It was like a volcano inside of their bodies had detonated due to that devil ape's roar. When this black ape beat its chest, it was like the heavens were unleashing celestial thunder. The world shook. People felt like the world was being flipped, and their bodies couldn't endure it. Yin Cheng Sheng and the others were shocked. They didn't know how strong the monsters inside these coffins were. At this moment, a giant tore through the dome of the heavens with a single punch. It felt like the world would explode. That giant was shockingly the three-eyed giant that Mo Nian had just robbed. One terrifying life form after another came out, their auras horrifying. In total, there were seventy-two coffins sealing seventy-two life forms, but the heavenly boundary line had split them into two groups of thirty-six. After all, Mo Nian and the others had only gone through over ten of the coffins on their side and there were still many that they hadn't seen yet. But Yin Changsheng and the others were finally afraid. If these life forms were to simply breathe on them, they would perish. Hence, they were in no mood to care about the bronze cauldron and just fled. Get in here! Mo Nian and the others were about to move as well when Long Chen shouted. Long Chen was standing on top of the bronze cauldron whose master acknowledgement rune was already shining. Although the process was not yet complete, the current Long Chen could count as half its master. Mo Nian and the others didn't hesitate. They were already close to the cauldron, so they directly charged over. This time, the bronze cauldron's light didn't reject them, and they all entered. Once they were inside its protective light, they all sighed with relief. With just this one barrier, they were blocked off from those terrifying Kai and sound waves. Xia Chen, quick, eat this. Long Chen hastily fed Xia Chen a medicinal pill. His face was as pale as paper, and his body was shaking. His limbs were about to break. Although he had protective talismans, he almost lost his life. The monsters sealed within those coffins were too terrifying, simply beyond their comprehension. Fortunately, the bronze cauldron's protective light was a solid barrier. They were temporarily safe here. He he, these idiots are in trouble now. Looking at Yin Cheng Sheng, Xi Yang, Jai Wu Ming, the nine underworld Yuacha, and Long Iashan struggling outside, Mo Nian smiled sinisterly. Wild Kai waves and astral winds were raging. The experts here were like tiny boats on top of an angry sea, and they might capsize at any moment. Also, 
space was already twisting violently. This world was on the verge of collapse. Within this apocalyptic space, only the area around the bronze cauldron was safe. Help guard me, I will finish becoming this cauldron's master. Long Chen pressed his hands on the cauldron. He then focused his essence, Kai, and spirit, circulating what dregs remained of them through the cauldron. Boom! Just then, there was a huge explosion. A giant cage suddenly appeared, completely covering this world. This is it. Mo Nayan was appalled. Chapter 3858 Six Dao Heavenly Eye A giant cage appeared around this world. At this time, Long Aoshin and the others had just escaped its bounds. Boom! The giant cage instantly contracted. It was made of the laws of the heavenly Daos and was like a chicken cage covering this world. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're definitely dead now. Even while covered in blood and gasping like an ox, Long Aoshin laughed at Long Chen. The cauldron and those terrifying life forms were now sealed within this cage. Mo Nian and the others' expressions changed. The cage was either there to stop these life forms from escaping or because Long Chen took this cauldron. Mo Nian had researched all kinds of tombs. Although this was his first time actually venturing into a heavenly tomb, everything here was different from what was recorded in the books. It was all bizarre. The cage quickly shrank. In just a second, the terrifying life forms that had come from the coffins instantly stilled. Following that, they slowly turned toward Long Chen. Long Chen and the others' souls almost fled in terror not good. Long Chen, looks like your unlucky mouth was right. This heavenly tomb was probably set up by someone. Perhaps it was all to seal this cauldron, said Mo Nian anxiously. He had no idea what to do. These life forms were so powerful that they were beyond comprehension. Mo Nian and the others had no ability to retaliate against them. At this moment, these life forms walked toward the cauldron. However, their erupting auras were gone, and it was as if they were puppets under someone's control. They walked closer step by step. Boss, is the master acknowledgement not done yet? Have this cauldron bring us away, cried out Gua Ran. Long Chen was anxious. He had exhausted all of his energy and his spiritual strength was very low. It was impossible for him to complete this process faster. Now do you regret it? I already told you to save your energy to take this cauldron, but you refused to listen. Long Chen could practically see the dragon expert shaking its head. Senior Junior was wrong. Please save our lives. Long Chen was instantly revitalized when he heard its voice. Sorry, I don't have that ability, replied the dragon expert coldly. Senior, Long Chen's heart turned cold. Just then, one of the life forms punched the bronze cauldron. As a result, the cauldron quivered and its protective light shattered. Another life form then reached a hand toward them. It's over. That was their only thought. These life forms were too powerful. There was no way that they could fight them. Just as they thought that they were doomed, that hand exploded. Its flesh fell to the ground, but even that blood emitted a horrifying pressure that caused the void to shake. This it, it. They suddenly noticed that the elder on Guo Ran's back had opened his eyes at some point. Senior, Long Chen was shocked and delighted. Right now, strange marks appeared in this elder's eyes. He slid off Guo Ran's back and looked at a figure at the rear of this group of terrifying life forms, his body quivering. Only then did they take note of that existence. It was a beautiful woman holding a sword, and her aura was also as vast as a sea, beyond their comprehension. Kyle Yuo, I have finally found you. A smile appeared on the elder's wizened face. His eyes were full of light. That woman's body quivered when she heard the elder's call. Her lifeless eyes slowly lit up. Zing Yu, is it really you? Her voice quivered. 
even as the light returned to her eyes it was as if she couldn't see anything just then all the life forms charged at the cauldron long chen and the others gasped however the six dao runes in the elder's eyes simply spun and time seemed to freeze those life forms couldn't move kai yuo i have finally found you the elder's voice contained endless emotion he laboriously walked toward the woman and the woman also walked toward his voice her beautiful hands slowly held the elder's wizened hands when their hands touched her body shook and she suddenly spread her arms and hugged that elder weeping why did you leave me i was afraid on my own this place is dark and i can't see anything i kept calling your name but you never answered me the woman cried out feeling aggrieved i'm sorry i broke our promise and made you suffer don't worry i'll never leave you again the elder warmly stroked her hair his heart filled with guilt looking at them long chen almost teared up their conversation made him think of the old man in kjianying when kjianying fell the old man said that while she was powerful and stubborn she was afraid of the dark so he had to accompany her to the other world as for this elder he had already died long ago but he refused to let go of his attachment and still bitterly searched for his beloved how could they not be moved he gently comforted the sobbing woman he then looked at the life forms around them as well as the giant cage around this world he sighed the heavens are no longer the old heavens the tao is no longer the old tao even in death you still have to bind us and use us how can you be so cruel the elder then turned to long chen little brother you kept your promise it's only thanks to you that my wish was fulfilled unfortunately i am already dead and unable to repay the favor i'm ashamed senior what are you saying as fellow members of the human race it is only natural for us to assist each other said long chen hastily the elder nodded little brother you are a peerless hero and i truly like your character unfortunately i will not be able to see you fight through the nine heavens slaying demons and devils however i still have one request for you please help me out senior please just tell me as long as i can do it i will promised long chen senior suddenly they cried out the elder had actually plucked out one of his eyes the eye then transformed into a gemstone with six kinds of flowering marks in it countless images could be seen within it as though countless life forms were evolving it was as if it was the manifestation of some kind of grand tao after that the elder handed this gemstone like i to long chen little brother this is my six tao heavenly eye even with these eyes of mine i could not reverse the tide i hope you can help me continue the inheritance of the pupil arts inside of it if these pupil arts are lost because of me i would have committed a major sin senior long chen knew that the elder was transmitting his pupil arts but he was afraid that long chen wouldn't accept if he simply said it directly so he put it this way to make it impossible for long chen to refuse little brother i entrust this to you i still have my other six tao heavenly eye it's enough to execute the reincarnation art of the six daos and reincarnate with kai Yuo. the elder then turned to the surrounding life forms and sighed dust to dust earth to earth all of you come with me when the marks in the elder's eyes revolved runes of six different colors appeared within this world boom this giant cage enveloping this world exploded chapter three thousand eight hundred fifty nine treacherous Xi yang the moment this heaven encompassing cage exploded the entire three thousand worlds quivered all the experts came flying out of the various cities and domains they then looked at the sky countless chains were shattering and a majestic aura unfurled within the three thousand worlds 
primal chaos kai has descended all the treasure lands are about to open boot 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 mountains exploded rivers suddenly stopped flowing and spatial gates opened when all kinds of secret lands opened primal chaos kai flooded the three thousand worlds the next moment every one within the three thousand worlds went crazy they began to pursue the currents of primal chaos kai to their source within the heavenly tomb long chen mo nian and the others were staring in shock at the elder of the heavenly eye race when he activated his heavenly eye he instantly destroyed the cage encompassing them just how terrifying was this one attack since you're all dead it doesn't matter if you were good or bad go back to wherever you came from the elder looked at these life forms and sighed a ripple then spread from the elder's eye it was a gentle light that seemed to contain an indescribable energy long chen had never seen this kind of power before after this ripple passed those immobile life forms fell one by one this mysterious ripple stripped them of the energy supporting them they were like puppets being controlled and the elder had severed the strings controlling them as a result those life forms collapsed and the terrifying pressures coming from their bodies slowly faded this time they seemed to be truly dead little brother my wife and i were reunited thanks to you there is no way to repay this favor now we are about to reincarnate and all the karma between us will be severed although there are no words that can express our gratitude we will probably never meet again so i can only say thank you said the elder senior it is only natural for fellow humans to help each other out furthermore senior is a hero of our human race you have experienced that ancient battle without the sacrifices of your generation this world would not have a long chen you used your lives to give us a chance to live senior please don't be so courteous as a hero of the human race it is an honor for me to help you said long chen these words of his were sincere all the heroes of ancient times were amazing figures long chen could see that this elder viewed his wife as even more important than his own life however he and his wife had still chosen to participate in that battle that had taken countless lives what kind of bravery did that require on the other hand long chen would set foot onto a terrible battlefield himself but he did not wish to see his beloved accompany him from this it could be seen that both this elder and his wife were true heroes it's a shame that we weren't born in the same era truly a shame now the time has come little brother good-bye the elder looked at long chen emotionally seniors go in peace long chen bowed mo nian and the others followed after the elder nodded the runes in his eye revolved both of their figures slowly faded away disappearing into nothingness these two elders that had participated in that ancient battle finally had their souls returned to the cycle of reincarnation courting death suddenly mo nian shouted and raised his bow Boom. the next moment the void exploded and a figure vanished mo nian's attack missed jai wuming just as the elder vanished jai wuming actually launched a sneak attack trying to kill long chen however he was noticed by mo nian long chen was in an extremely weak state so his reaction speed was ten times slower than normal times because of this he actually hadn't sensed jaya wuming's presence if it hadn't been for mo nian long chen might have lost his life just now after failing jaya wuming snorted long chen count yourself lucky today but just because you were lucky this time doesn't mean that you'll be this lucky next time just wait for me to cut off your head jai wuming's figure vanished it was truly a case of fleeing a thousand miles after one attack the dogma of the blood kill hall long chen just wait now that the primal chaos kai has descended 
treasure lands are opening. When my supreme blood reaches full power, I will take your life. Long Ayashin glared at Long Chen hatefully. He was in a miserable state. Half his body was gone, and it looked like he might die at any moment. But a faint layer of violet kai was swirling around him. It seemed that his aura was recovering slowly. After saying that, Long Ayashin crushed a talisman and was directly transported away. As for the nine underworld Liuacha, she eyed Long Chen icily before leaving as well. At this moment, Yin Cheng Sheng was incensed and flames almost burst out of his eyes. That appearance of his was like he wanted to bite Long Chen to death. Last time, Long Chen had taken the ice soul divine flame that was arranged for Yin Cheng Sheng. And this time, Long Chen managed to take the bronze cauldron after Yin Cheng Sheng had spent a huge amount of his blood and soul essence to get it. It was like Long Chen was specifically targeting him. Long Chen, next time we meet, I will definitely take back all that is mine. Yin Cheng Shen also left. As everyone was gone, the only ones left were Long Chen's group. Huo Ran curiously asked, Why are they all leaving? What would they do if they didn't leave? Ask us for a meal. Mo Nian shrugged. Xia Chen laughed and said, They were affected by the rampage of the immemorial creatures while we were protected by the cauldron. Although on the surface they look fine, in truth, they no longer have the power to fight. If they were to attack us, they'd be the ones to lose. Guo Ran nodded in comprehension. So it wasn't that they didn't want to attack them, but more like they couldn't. Long Chen, we'll help you take this cauldron first, said Mo Nian, placing a hand on his back. His energy poured into Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian also pressed a hand on Long Chen's shoulder, feeding him some energy. Even if the bronze cauldron wanted to take him as a master, in his current state, he didn't have the power to ignite that room. With their assistance, Long Chen pressed his hands on the cauldron. Blood then slowly poured out of him, dyeing that rune. After that, the bronze cauldron quivered and its divine light shone brightly. The master acknowledgement process was complete. Long Chen was originally planning on drawing it into the primal chaos space, but then it directly charged into his spiritual space. It automatically chose its resting space. After putting away the cauldron, Long Chen sighed with relief. He had no time to study it and just began to go through the battlefield with everyone. Mo Nian, Xia Chen, and Kuo Ran were gathering the items on the corpses. These items were all true treasures. Curious. Why didn't I see Shi Yan? Did he run before Jai Wuming attacked? Yu Xiaokin suddenly tugged on Long Chen. No. Everyone, watch out. He might already be in control of some corpse. Long Chen's expression completely changed. Suddenly, one of the corpses on the ground moved. Chapter 3860 A Call Guo Ran, watch out! Long Chen shouted. Guo Ran was standing on the head of a certain corpse and had taken out a saw to take off its horn. But at this moment, that corpse actually reached out toward Guo Ran. Upon hearing Long Chen's warning, his battle armor's wings flapped and he seemed to teleport. However, he was still the slightest bit too slow. The life form's claw touched him ever so lightly, and he was sent flying like a shooting star, smashing into the ground, his body vanishing within the earth. That life form stood up. Only then did Long Chen and the others see that it was a winged devil. Ah! Long Chen, die. That winged devil laughed sinisterly and walked toward Long Chen. That voice was Shi Yang's. He had actually taken control of his immemorial devil corpse secretly. Impossible. He can't possibly control such a powerful corpse. Yu Ziaokian couldn't believe it. Her devil suppressing seal then lit up and blasted at this winged devil. It's useless. This corpse's runes have not been activated, so your divine seal has no effect at all. 
I bet you never thought of this, right? I'm actually not from the corpse devil race. I only joined the corpse devil race in order to cultivate the corpse devil Tao. I'm actually a winged devil, and my soul still has the seal of the winged devil race deep within it. Controlling this corpse from my own race is naturally as easy as breathing for me. Hee hee, since everyone else has left, let me end things here. Chi Yang lunged toward Long Chen. His speed wasn't very fast as his body was swaying clumsily. It seemed that he could not fully control this corpse yet. However, this corpse's body was too terrifying. If struck by his palm with Long Chen's current state, he would definitely be killed. Earth spirit binding, Mo Nian shouted. It was unknown what he tossed out, but chains suddenly shot out of the earth and bound Chi Yang's legs. Boom! Those chains exploded instantly. However, Chi Yang staggered and fell flat on his face. He wants to steal this corpse. Track him and leave him to die here, shouted Mo Nian. He then took out a shovel, and with a single heave, the earth collapsed. Shi Yang's corpse was drawn underground. The next moment, Xia Chen tossed out one talisman after another. His talismans transformed into a net of chains binding the corpse's body. Shi Yang struggled crazily, but this body didn't want to listen to him. It was too clumsy, like a drunkard tossed into a mud pit. No matter how he struggled, he was unable to escape. Mo Nian continued to dig, so the hole grew deeper and deeper. On the other hand, Shi Yang could only roar furiously. After a while, he suddenly opened his mouth and spat out a large mouthful of blood. That blood was then absorbed by the wings on his back. With a flap of his wings, the void exploded and he shot out of the ground like a shooting star. However, he didn't fly straight up. Mo Nian had already dug a giant hole for him, and now he ended up smashing through the ground diagonally. He pierced right through thick layers of earth and out in the distance. Just wait. Once I get accustomed to this corpse, you will go see the Yellow Springs. Shi Yang once more flapped his wings and ended up in the wrong direction. He actually ended up going straight toward Long Chen and the others. When he realized this, his expression changed and his wings flapped crazily. As he forcibly changed directions, he smashed into things several times before eventually escaping beyond their line of sight. This scene was both shocking and funny. But once he was gone, they were all worried. That's not good. Shi Yang has now gained such a terrifying body. Next time, we'll probably have to run, said Xia Chen. It's not that bad. This corpse isn't something that he can control. At most, he can use it to scare people. Mo Nian waved off his concern dismissively. That's right. A corpse on this level. Without reaching the World King realm, there's no way that he can fully control it. Even if he is from the winged devil race, he can't control that corpse's divine abilities. If he wants to control those abilities, he'll have to activate the corpse's innate runes. But if he does that, he will be suppressed by my seal. I would guess that he will choose to first control the corpse's physical body as it is too tough for us to damage. However, as long as we don't fight him directly, he also won't have the ability to do anything to us. Yu Ziyokian gradually recovered from her shock. Shi Yang might possess this terrifying devil corpse, but he couldn't activate its divine runes and would only have its most basic physical power. However, the winged devil race wasn't a brute power race that only fought with their physical bodies. Thus, even if Shi Yang did manage to control it, it wasn't too bad. Even in the worst case, they could simply avoid him. With Shi Yang gone, they once more began to go through the battlefield. After taking everything of value, Long Chen began to draw the corpses into the primal chaos space. After bringing them in, he didn't directly toss them into the black soil. Instead, he placed them to the side and looked at the Fusan tree. 
he had not had a chance to look at the fusing tree after he had tossed its upper portion into the primal chaos space. Now he finally had a chance. As he was recovering, he used the black dagger to cut off its branches, planting them in the soil. Long Chen then planted 108 of its branches along the edge of the primal, chaos space, leaving a huge amount of space between each one. It was only after this that he tossed one of the immemorial corpses into the black soil. However, what shocked Long Chen was that it was clearly very difficult for the black soil to devour this corpse. It was only after an incense stick's worth of time that life energy came out. This corpse had not even changed appearance. The black soil had barely broken down the tiniest bit of its body, but the vast amount of life energy unleashed was enough to revive all the vegetation in the primal case space. This life energy caused the withered vegetation to revive at a visible speed. As for Long Chen's wounds, they rapidly healed as well. The best thing for Long Chen was that the branches of the Fusang tree also started sprouting. One tiny shoot after another sprouted from the branches, looking like they were made of pure gold. Now Long Chen was incomparably excited. With this, he would have an endless supply of the sun flame and the moon flame. As endless life energy filled the primal chaos space, a mist-like substance quickly covered this world. This mist made this entire space look as if it was made out of primal chaos kai. This corpse actually possesses such a huge amount of primal chaos kai. Long Chen suddenly found that it wasn't just life energy being unleashed here. There was a great amount of primal chaos kai as well. However, this primal chaos kai was actually locked within the primal chaos space. He was unable to absorb it. Is the primal chaos space leaving it for itself? Long Chen muttered to himself as he eyed this primal chaos kai. He seemed to have sensed something. In less than an instant stick's worth of time, the primal chaos space's vegetation was fully recovered. The moon trees and the fusane trees were slowly growing. They had already grown to the height of a foot. Their bodies were wrapped in black and golden flames, respectively. Although they were still tiny shoots, those flames still emitted powerful fluctuations. Long Chen, the heavenly tomb has exploded, and the laws of heaven and earth have changed. Treasure lands are all opening. What do we do now? asked Yu Ziopian. You should go absorb primal chaos kai in those treasure lands and condense heavenly Tao crowns, said Long Chen. And what about you? asked Yu Ziopian. When I used the purgatory eyes, I saw a world. Something there seems to be calling to me, so I want to take a look. Long Chen took out an eye patch and covered his bleeding left eye. With his remaining eye, he looked in a certain direction, murmuring, 